I'll save <clears throat> the first bit of time in which I'm going to be doing. Uh, we'll just see what I want to get from the next set. Legacy of Destruction. Alright, so let me load up a tab. Right. So. Actually, it'd be easier just to type it, won't it? So, what you? And you're a super, eh? Huh? Ancient gear. A tanker. It's a common. Commander. Common. Uh, we want refrain melodious. Who is a common? I mean, she looks the coolest. Why would she be a common? Any couplet? Who's a common as well? Uh. I might try and get Riker as well. Riker Seed. The secret rare. Riker. Samurai. Beetle. Is a common. Wizard. Is a common. I'm going to leave Tempai for now. I want Gold Pride Eliminator. Super rare. I want Centurion Gargoyle. There is a super as well. Oh, no, common. Lovely. Uh, come on. No, no. I need that. I need fish ball carpooner. Super rare. I need batch at uh, backer. Melodious. Well, odd. I uh, melodious. Wow, common as well. No, no. Gold Pride Eradicator. First Ultra I need. Lovely. Uh, This bit I'll just put on the higher rarity bits I need. Riker Stag. It's ultra. The commons I'll have no problem getting. Riker Bloom is a secret.
Wake up Centurion is seek is ultra. Nope, I'm fine without them. Good, that's a nice easy list. Good. All right then. Back to the duel of the master variety. We're doing some dual triangle. With Xyz. The worst one. Because I do not have ultra po I do not have super poly. I'm gonna go second Anna. Oh. Wing second deck. Uh Cyber Dragon maybe? That is an absolutely dog shit first hand. I just need a single monster. Lantern Shark. Uh, I'll have to do. Lantern Shark. That's probably an imperm. Droplet. Droplet sending Droll. Why would you use your piece of interaction there? Okay, this shark. Go away. I need to make some sort of board. So he drew three hand traps. Lovely. Uh, we'll add an angler. Yeah, that's what I thought. And what is it? Eleven wins. That's that's not too bad. What was he playing? Sword soul. Any brick to that extent? I don't know why that look does look like enough monsters to me. Probably fine. Probably fine. Okay. I'm going second. Cause I am. Wait, why would that sort of guy let me go first? Interesting.
Uh, summon leaf fish, send right shark. Summon crystal shark. Get two level fours. With a duster in your perm. Come on, sir. No. If you've drawn it, good luck to you, but if you haven't, it's unfortunate. An ash. Oh, we'll go duster. I love that he, that he claps for me. Well done, Purely. Wow. What is it with these fusion players? They're not doing very well. God, that is a garbage dynamorphia list. But luckily I'm playing water, so I can't Go into all his dark combos. Super probably doesn't affect me if he doesn't have uh, Garura. I'm not playing darks. It'd be best to play a couple more Diplos, but then you'd need to take something else out. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. I'm going second, of course I am. So what we got? That is... Acceptable? Ah, uh, I'm up against Chimera. I drew a Luba, the Boob of Duba. We are playing sharks. We're uh, armored sharks, te technically. Because this is the Exes Synchro and Ritual uh, and uh, Fusion event, and I'm playing Exes. This is the probably the most consistent deck I have. As long as he doesn't hand rip this Raigeki, I should be fine. Summon this, but it activates effect. Use uh, Abyss Shark. Uh, Silent Angler. Yeah. That's fine. I am not playing Cookie Cook Exodia. That'd be miserable. Let's see how fast he scoops. Duster. Rookie cook sharks though. 
yeah, I just made my list of everything I wanted from the next set. It's not the biggest list I've ever made. What's it going for? Ragos to Pelia. Uh-huh. I'm not playing Crooked Cook Exodia because I don't have Exodia. <laughs> We'll probably play a kaiju out at something at some point. Foolish. Alright, so we got Ash Beauty and Tunifold Princess now. Oh, Buzz Saw. Buzz Saw effect. Yeah, I think I've um, sorted now. Vela. Abyss Jack. Uh, Abyss Shark for Silent Angler. Silent Angler. Flick of shame. How dare you. Yeah, I do get hit with Magic Cylinder every single stream. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's go Kragen. Yeah, that would be alright. Do I go for Kragen or do I go for Armor Fortress? Kragen is probably a better um, interruption. What does this level 7 do again? Hmm... I'll leave it that for now then. Yeah, Kraken's such a good boy. This event is you pick Xyz, Synchro, or Fusion, and you play one of them, and everyone plays them against you. So I'm playing Xyz, and this is a Fusion boy. Do I destroy this gazelle now? Because if he doesn't have a gazelle in his hand... No. You can't play Tri Brigade. You can only play Synchros, Fusions and Xyzas. And Xyz is, uh, is losing by uh, f uh, quite a ma uh, margin. 
35, 35%, and Xyz has 30% of the wins. Adding Camaro. Health Kragen. Ignore the blue frame. I, I mean, they are better for XE's monsters. They are a lot better at XE's monsters than uh, Links. It's kind of annoying. Oh no, Kraken. Hmm. Interesting. Summon two Kraken. We're going to give him that. We're going to give you this. Come on, Fusion Boy. Let's see how well you're going to do. <laughs> I've only got one Master Grade Gund uh, Gundam at the moment. If that's what you mean. From the uh, video of my uh, gaming room. I haven't finished building him yet though. Is Perfect Grade the biggest one? Because I've got one of those as well. I just haven't finished it yet. I'll get there. God's sake. Stop fusing. Yeah, those ones that I've put up in my uh, games room at the moment are only high grades, yeah. I've got like, my uh, nice Zoid ones to put up as well, I just don't have a chance yet. Rageki. Xyz Armor Fortress.
If I'm not swinging with my little guy, I'll instantly lose. Uh, we'll go biggest boy. For God's sake, just die. Hmm. Who goes Zeus? I do. N wait, an Androids. Yes, I. I don't have any, but I would like to get some. They're the better Funko Pops. I'm going to be getting some nice, uh, cool metal posters for my walls as well. Eventually. Got super annoyed with, um... Dual Masters as well. Because it kept glitching on me and cutting the audio out. I wasn't happy. The only person I've lost to in Duel Masters plays Rookie Rush. I'm not happy. We're getting there slowly, though. Come on, Fusion Boy. Hmm. Does he have any more mirror knights? No. I'm a fortress's effect. Uh... 
That's not going to do anything, is it? Because I need another level 7 by. Hmm. We're learning, though. Yeah, that is exactly what happened, Firewall. You can even watch episode 2, which is on the Discord, and that is exactly what happened. The level 1 fire that has to attack if able on two consecutive turns, and I couldn't stand a chance. Yeah, uh, the... the uh, they're on the Discord ep uh, if you wanted to watch them. Yeah, see? didn't do very well because I, uh, I fixed it the problem was my computer kept running out of memory when I was recording and it kept cutting the audio out so hopefully when I record tomorrow it'll be fine seriously the only problem I, the only thing I need now is one level 4 monster. You have to believe. I do have to believe, sir, yes. I'm not doing very well, though. Part of the cards. Buzzsaw Shark. Buzzsaw Shark. Target Buzzsaw Shark. I've got three negated monsters on the field because he keeps reducing them to zero. Uh. Lifeless leaf fish. What will help me right now? This. They're not the best audio quality in the world. My audio is fine, but the game's a bit off. But works for the first episode or two of Duel Masters. It shouldn't be doing that again. But how many negates does this deck have? Yeah, I don't think my uh, set has any uh, blockers that weak at the moment. <laughs> That's exactly 1500, so I will definitely lose. Right, so I need one more of the level 7 boy. Yes, yeah, so I need to get one more of that. Yeah, I've still got uh, two extra days off, so I'm planning on finishing at least the light path of Duel Masters this week. Because I don't think it's a long game. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Alright. I'm bad. currently losing, and I don't like to lose, but... What are you playing there, um, what do you call it? I'm playing the Master Duel event, yeah. Oh, Master, are you playing there, uh, that other card game? Duel Masters? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, I haven't got any, uh, La Urga yet. Because if I know, what, what? I'm talking to my, uh, Firewall and Mas uh, about, what, uh, about, uh, Master Duel stuff. N not, uh, not Master Duel, uh, Duel Masters. Because for some reason, every single pack in that game I've bought 
and every person I have dueled against has not given me a single yellow. <laughs> I am playing exclusively yellow black right now. Because that's the deck that you start with is yellow black. The game clears on what you're doing that. Well, I'd love to play pure yellow. Because the monsters are really cool. Hmm. Yes. We are slowly getting there in this event. Everybody's using fusion though, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm just uh, in a bit of wild hearting. I finished with that bit for today. Yeah, I've just come back on after our recording. Defeated some pigs and a squirrel. I got the pounder um, ability now, which is nice. I got an ability that. Um... If I'm in kimono mode, you know the dark mode for my entire character. If I would I take, if that? I would take critical damage, I don't die. All right, how do you get in kimono mode after you wear kimono armor? Yeah. Uh, I don't have it yet though. Send a crystal shark. Summon a bit shark. Silent Angler. Point to Stealth Kragen. Uh, I don't think there's any other good level fours I could use. Oh, can I use Dweller? We'll do that. One, one problem I have about the fact that you get other people's things that they build is that it ends up your area ends up quite the mess. You have to like clean up after other people's builds. It's kind of annoying. Well, the stuff I left on your map shouldn't you shouldn't need to get rid of them. Random crates and whatnot. Oh, from battles, yes, but the traversal ones are pretty nice. Um. I might change some of them just because some of them I'm not a huge fan of. But... Where the travel point discovered? I knew it, I don't understand. Yeah, you'll notice Firewall, and when I'm talking about the game, when I'm playing the game, I never call them light, dark, fire, nature. I'll call them yellow, black, green, and red. I will call them by their colour. I find a lot of people do that. They will always refer to anything as whatever's easiest. Of course, you've got to. That's birth of it already. Not doing that. Yeah, it's just because it's the original structure deck as well. I've won every single game except one. Because the objective was go to the school and enter the tournament. I'm like, nah, I've got to duel everybody first. Hmm. Uh. 
Oh, come on, game, stop being stupid. Hmm. I found an old abandoned camp. Are you sure it's abandoned? Yeah, it says it, it's actually called Camp Ruins. You never and know what's lurking behind something. Apparently, this will allow me to build stuff in this. So long as it's a beaver, though. Nat, it's fine. We don't like beavers in Wild Hearts. Oh, God. How did the beaver, a rank 2 beaver be worse than the rank 3 lava monkey? And yes, Firewall, it is a it is a loner deck. Full on Chimera branded. God, I hate Chimera Fusion. I mean, I am going to be playing it in real life, so I can't hate it forever, but... But for now... It is your mortal enemy. That's it, sir. Play it into my imperm column. Well done. And he's got an extra poly. God, this deck just doesn't die. I wonder what he's going for. Earth of Mega. <laughs> It's actually a really good loner deck, because they're all illusions, and they can't be destroyed by battle. They're a serious pain in the ass. Some I'd like. Yeah, you could put them into Exodia for like, um, a wall. That doesn't sound like something I'd do. Well, one of them has a flip effect that on uh, flip summons itself. Uh, uh, on flip uh, draws a card, I mean. And then it can reset itself every turn. And it's indestructible by battle oh. because it's a, it's an illusion. <laughs> that one doesn't seem too bad. It's incredibly dumb. <laughs> Lifelessly fish. Okay, he's negated that. Do that. Oh, 
I'm quite happy I'm, as, I'm fairly competent with this deck. Crash into this. I still can't reach my battle. Going to a Zeus. No, best I can do right now. Hmm. And this one does give you some nice uh, 3D models of the of uh, the master Duel stuff, uh, the Duel Master stuff. So it's actually got some really nice combat animations when you can hear them. <laughs> so it's for the memories. Oh, they're really nice. I think it was just because of my computer running out of memory. If not, and it does work again, I'll just move out of my gaming room to my desktop I'm on right now and just record it there. Mera, huh? Who's been playing these games, like these Hunter Monster Hunter kind of games, and suddenly you hear your fans suddenly kick into gear? Does, it, does your brain automatically go, oh, it's spawning something? Well, my PS5 kicks in, yeah, because it's really loud. Yeah, as it's just done it now, so I'm like, oh, and they respawn the monster for me. Hmm. Yeah, they are rough. Yeah. If you start with a decent hand though in Dual Masters, it's fine. But it's just, I didn't get a really good first hand then. Yes, put that in my graveyard. I want to draw a card. Hmm. Yeah, they don't give you many, many low mana cards, but I assume it's just because I was playing yellow and I need to buy them or acquire them in battle. Why did you not kill Stealth Crag and Spawn? That's incredibly stupid. What's wrong with you? They have plans. 
Convoluted performance. I mean, he has a water card on his field now, so I can just destroy it with Stealth Crack and Spawn. Has infallible convoluted plants that we both know always work. Yeah, you two are the masters of. Uh, I do like myself some like convoluted strands. <laughs> they always work. I don't know what about. They don't. They don't fail miserably. Uh, a lot I of mean, the yellow one... cards in. Um... That one, slash, well. that one triple slash. That one triple slash slash draw you did once, uh, and that was pretty impressive, though. Yeah, that was like a one in a million, really, wasn't it? That, that I, don't, I never pulled that off again. No, you didn't. Um, I mean, well, and now I can't. Probably for your own safety, because I think Brad would have strangled <laughs> you if you did it again. Well, to be fair, there was also that time that Brad could have thrown me when I banished all of his cards in, uh, when he was in Super Heavy and I... He failed Tempest it. <laughs> that was also a fun time for Brad, I think. Ah, uh, Infernal Tempest. Oh, do, do we have different terms for the word fun, do we? <laughs> um, yeah. Bussaw. <coughs> Bussaw. Get right, Shark. We're going to go into the Hermit Shark. Hermit Shark will pitch this. So I'm an XE's armor torpedo. <laughs> Going to XE's armor fortress. Why can I never go into this guy? Not yeah, I know it's weird. Hmm? Oh, am I locked or something? More than likely, if you can't go into some. I still can't destroy that, I'm not strong enough, because it can't be destroyed by battle. God's sake. Oh yeah, because my shark locks you to Xyz monsters, and yeah. Dark, and he's not a, an Xyz monster. Well, he is, but he's not. He doesn't have X Y Z in his name. Or something like that. Well, something's locking me anyway. So I know what I need to do. I need to add an extra level 7 boy and an extra copy of Stealth Kragen. We're learning. It's fine.
Uh, Brad, by the way. Mm -hmm. I uh, heard some interesting yesterday as I was watching one of my uh, random YouTube videos that I watch. Oh, and yeah? technically, in Avatar, Which technically, one? the uh, last airbender. Right. Right. Oh, Korra. Doesn't really matter which. But technically, an airbender can bloodbend. Because the air going through the body. Uh, because there is air circulating in the blood. It's not technically air circulation. It's mo molecules of oxygen in the blood. It's not. It's not air circulation. It's liquid moving air bubbles around. A bit different. But. Or if you are controlling said air within those, you are technically moving the blood, and thus you are kind of blood bending. Because it's the exact same thing with, with what say... blood bending is. Because you are moving water. Yeah, here's the thing, they'd be moving the oxygen. Blood. He'd be able to move the oxygen around the body, but he wouldn't be able to control the body like liquid, because there's not enough oxygen or air in the bloodstream to gain control of movement and body. So they would be able to. Oh, that's the exact same thing as the wall bending. Hmm? It's the exact same thing about what water, well, water benders no, can not. still it's use it, even though track. this. Maybe? No, because the majority of the human body is liquid, so therefore it yes, makes Yes, but they're not using liquid, they're using blood. Which is a liquid. No, but it's not water, no, it's not, it's not, not blood. Yeah. yeah, but plasma's still liquid. You... No, it's not. And it's water, remember, not... Not li just any liquid, it's got to be water. Exactly what we've seen throughout the show, constantly using different types of liquids. No, they don't. They use they, water they, specifically. They, 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 they throw a for a food, uh, liquid soup at one point. Controlled soup. That's, okay, what is soup? Soup is any water. Kind of, it, it's not water. It's liquid. How, how do you make soup? They're not called then? liquid vendors. Yeah, because that doesn't sound good. It'd be it's powerful. Liquid. You cannot move anything that isn't water. Brad, firebenders use lightning. Yeah, that is dumb. I'll give you that. That is dumb. So, I mean, that's far more worse than a water bender controlling other types of liquids. It's gas that has been electrically charged. You know what's a really cool underrated power nap? What? Heat manipulation. Hmm. Yeah. What cook someone? Uh, mess cook someone from the inside out. No, because you can just you can use ice and fire. Uh, that's true. You can freeze people from the inside using cold air. You can do lots of cool stuff. I mean, as we always said, if an, if Airbender wanted to be a major douche, you only had to do is take the op uh, suck the oxygen out of someone's lungs. You, you yeah, that is technically possible, but it's like. In a combat I mean, situation, when you're being attacked on multiple sides, it's not very convenient. Yeah, it, it takes it's ages more, for them to die. It's it's more convenient than trying to uh, blood bend with uh, oxygen. Not really? No. <laughs> um, yeah, it would probably take a lot more focus and concentration to delicately move molecules in certain ways inside the body. Around to be fair, though, I'm not yeah, saying it's a perfect science, dude, but technically it is Possibly. To be fair though, the only person who he, he, he sucked the air out of a person's lungs was a non-bender. If that was a bender, like Toph, she would just move her foot and a spike would just ram straight through his head, so... And that's the thing with a lot of the bending is... It, let's be fair, there's quite a lot of fights in Avatar that relied on someone being sloppy or stupid for the other person to win. <laughs> That's just generally what fighting always is. Oh, sick. Any Hang kind on. of fighting situation, it's always a bit... Someone well, no, makes a mistake and a slips up, and that's in, what costs them. In reality, it's, skill, it's more yes, of a Yes, people all have skill, but if you take two... Normally yeah, in combat, and then someone a... slips up, makes a mistake, and that's what gets them killed. 
By no, the way, Matthew in That's chat, one. he did just sent me a message. He messaged on the Geek Retreat chat because he pulled a really expensive card. He says, I'm not going to sure I get rid of it. So I posted below it. If you want 100 quid, I bet you're going to get rid of it. Right now, he says, does anybody want it? <laughs> yeah, back in a sec, though. Yeah, I mean, most fights actually end because one person's got more exhausted and runs out of energy. That's generally how, you know, a battle between people who can actually fight, shall I say. Is someone getting exhausted first? That's not no. true. It's always a component of of fighting exhaustion, but like I said, mistakes can happen, and that's also what costs people. Oh yeah, I mean, no matter how skilled. You are at combat, it doesn't take um Yeah, no matter how skilled you are, a uh, one cock up can end it all. And that's how you can end up with um someone who's really really crap beating okay. someone who's really really good. Okay, we're back. Exactly. Uh, good, good example that was Billy the kid getting killed by a pretty much a nobody because he got blind, uh, basically sucker punched almost, but but we're gone. But you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. We need one more of this boy. I don't have another of that boy. We we'll let's get one. Uh, yeah. That's bad. That is honestly a dog shit. I think that. someone did actually suck the water from someone's body in the original Avatar, but I think they'll think um, there's the first person to blood bend. I think she did it on the guards. No, she just made them uh, open the cell door and she walked out. At least they thought they showed you. One of the few episodes I remember quite heavily. It's the book I'm doing. I actually really liked the well, idea. She, of it. Did. Oh, it sh she, it showed... she showed Katara how to absorb water from everything around her, so obviously, technically, it's possible. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Another fucking fusion deck. Everyone's liking fusions today, bro. Do I have to play fusions so I don't have to duel against fusions? Um, what do you go against fusion decks? That's all I've dueled against today. Um, I didn't think fusion decks. So fusion decks have gotten good again after. It is in this event where you can't play the usual cards you would normally do because they're banned. Well, that'll be why then. Isn't that technically what uh, plasma bending is? Technically, what fire benders do. So that is what lightning is. Is it not? This is blood plasma, not actual plasma. But yes. But yes. But yes, technically. So technically, fire benders are plasma benders. But. Very few are. Uh, uh, no, well, if you go on Cora, there's, there's a lot of uh, vendors who can actually use lightning bending. 
Yeah, it's, it's a job yeah. for them. Yeah. It's it become. So, question. Firebenders have lightning. What? what um, Earth have metal. And lava. What? I thought lava was a combination of fire and earth. No, it's just earth. No, that would make more the, sense yeah. to be a combination. Because you, all of the Avatar can combine elements in Avatar. Yep. Yeah, true. But um, and Avatar Kyoshi, who was the Earthbender uh, Avatar, could also lava bend because she is just standard Earthbending. The wind, hmm. uh, do wind and water have another element that they can bend? Water uh, has um, what, ice what and ice. It has a and ice and blood well. and stuff. I would say Not ice. I, ice is just water though. For some reason. And no, wind cold. doesn't. Or at least it hasn't been shown. But they have a perfect wind? flight. Yeah, basically wind have flight and that is essentially... That's the element. I was, that's just... No, they don't have any extra things. Right. But they should Not be able really. to use lightning. Right. Yeah, they should. Then so, but Earth should, Earth fire should be able to use lava, so... Logically. Well, fire is more earth. No, lava is more earth than anything else. Yeah, but it's superheated earth. Yeah, earth though. Ten technically, uh, airbenders can make um, maelstroms or whatever. Maelstroms. Yeah, no, it's just a tornado. Tornado. Yeah, it's just yeah. this is very. That's just a lot of wind. I mean, as soon as they get it going. And then it's not Wind can be super destructive. It's just in series, oh. just never is. What is it? What's the uh, ones on water again? Hmm. What do you mean ones on oh, water? Yeah. Water gets ice and um, blood. Uh, I mean, um, I won't really count blood as a different element. No, I mean, when you get like a um, tornado that hits water and it becomes. Oh, hurricane. That's what that's what that's what a, a tornado on 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 water is. A you hurricane. mean a tsunami, not? No. Does that's... anyone remember what the word is? Yeah, tsunami. Still... What are you what are you exactly describing? It's essentially a water tornado. Male. It's called a hurricane. No, it is not. Yes, it is a, a tornado in the world on water is a hurricane, and it in, in the, not it'll become super dangerous when, if they reach land, but they very rarely do. Um, are you talking about an underwater tornado? It's a whirlpool, but yeah. A hurricane is a tropical cyclone of wind. Cyclone of wind, which starts over water. Usually accompanied by rain, thunder, lightning, and sometimes moves in temperature into latitude. So yes, that is not it, what I'm on about. It starts over water and eventually becomes more dangerous if it hits land, but it's always water. starts on wa above Cyclone? water. Cyclone? That's a, a cyclone is another name for a hurricane. Water sprout? That's, um,. Uh, beginning of a hurricane. It starts off as like a little uh, tornado coming down from the sky, and then when it hits the water, if it hits the water, it, be it starts as a funnel cloud. Ah, there you go. It's it a little in the sky. It hits, uh, and if it hits the water, it becomes water a hurricane. Over a body of water. Does it say it's a hurricane? Well, a hurricane is when it gets really big, admittedly. It starts off as a funnel cloud, then probably into a twist of cyclone, and then turns into a hurricane. I do, I do still remember some of my GSE. So, um, the water spout geography. formation technically occurs when all the air moves across great lakes and results in temperature differences. Uh, the warm water and the overriding cold air. Mm -hmm. So water and air.
<laughs> oh. Something's come through my camp and smashed it up. You douche nozzle. That's not very nice. No, it's not. How do you repair broken structures? You don't. But it it won't let me build another one because it's still there as a broken structure. Oh, um, L1 and you tap R3. And you can... Uh... No, it won't work. It just has a icon of a of the robot with like a the symbol next to it, and that's why it's not let me, it's not let me do anything. Not a clue. I've never oh. had that happen. Maybe it's because there's a gorilla right on top of it. That's kind of annoying that the enemy can spawn right on top of the camp. So it let me teleport there to be instantly attacked by a lava monkey. I haven't got my right sword on. I got a fire one on which is crap for this guy. I'm not even fighting the monkey again for a while. No, neither am I, but he's destroying my base camp. I'm kind of. Are you destroying my forge? You douche! No, but things near him then. I didn't! It was supposed to be a safe zone. It was a story safe zone. And now it's apparently not. I don't even know why I did that. It was a tuna. It was irrelevant to me. Why did I do that? Well, it made him surrender, so it's fine. Um, six more wins. Let's go. A second again, yeah. Well, Sam, that is certainly a hand. Oh, no, I guess Tia, lovely. I've only versed against fusion decks today, it's weird. Where are the synchro decks? Cross out. <laughs> Very fascinating how often this game likes to reward me Coral Stone, even though it's one of the most common items in the game and I've got a bajillion of them. It makes it seem like it's a rare item, but it's I mean, you can say it's a must guy. Yeah, it's just, it's just a bit annoying how, how much things give it as a reward, like it's a rare item. Hmm. Get us saw. This will lock me into a disease monsters. All right, so after a bit of research, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, bit of research. So, Dave is, is right, a hurricane does form over a body of water, but it does not, from what I can tell, create a 
can be caught. It can't become a water spout. Mm. So water spout can become a. Water spout. So or form from them, should I say? So basically, if a tornado okay. can become a water spout, and a water spout can become to a tornado, but yeah, neither it's... can become a hurricane. I said a funnel hurricane, cloud. something different. I said a funnel cloud became a, a hurricane, which is a bit different. I fucking hate super. There's only so basically got tornadoes and hurricanes, and tornadoes can just become water spouts when they go over water. Yeah. I was talking about full of clouds becoming hurricanes, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, Which well, um... Different. Yeah, hurricanes, I don't believe... ...touch the ground? Oh, it's just very strong winds. And so we've learnt something today. <laughs> As we usually do on here. Hmm. It doesn't help that a lot of places called things the same things, different names, and it gets very confusing. Well, according to this, a hurricane is called a hurricane in the northern hemisphere. A typhoon in another part, and yeah. cyclones in another. <laughs> so, hurricane, typhoon, and cyclone are all the same thing. Yep. But a tornado is different. Yep. Yeah, tornado is not as dangerous as a hurricane. What the hell was that game? I don't know that feeling. It, it just glitched, teleported, and sent me flying. I mean, you did get stuck into a rock earlier. Oh, that was annoying. I got stuck a few times, to be fair. Since here, because tornadoes are so quick to form from thunders, they are natural dis They are most violent storms. Yeah. Uh, devastating neighbourhoods in seconds. There you go. The hurricanes. If a hurricane hits land, uh, yeah, yeah. A hurricane is far can be, is far worse than a tornado. So, because hurricanes can wipe out, wipe out entire cities. Yep, out of yeah. all the four elements, fire is the weakest on terms of big scale. Probably. Yeah. Ah. Unless you get a, unless you get a full on wildfire, and then you got. Uh, I would take a wildfire over an earthquake, a cyclone, and a tidal wave. Not a wildfire, sorry, a, 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 a blaze. Um, I'd still take those over that. So that's that people in um, the south of uh, last year, that, that wiped out an entire area, didn't it? It completely wiped off the face of the earth, didn't yeah, it? That the others area. would do that a lot more and kill more people. Well, um, everyone who was in that area died. Uh, the only people who survived were people who got out that got out of the way before it happened. Yeah, you can't get out of the way of the other three. Um, they only got out of the way because of forewarning, but yeah, it was bad, and that's because the f wind picked up the fire and, and sent it really fast, so it just tore through areas very really quickly. So again, wind is the aid here. Oh yeah, fire is very little threat without the aid of wind. In general, in the series, fire's not really a threat anyway. All it does, because if you've noticed, fire spells are explosions, not fire. And if you can't get burned, fire doesn't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. But then, to be fair, water can be, um, in quite a lot of things, can be quite unthreatening as well. Water's physical though. If you get whacked by water, you can feel it. If you get whacked by fire and you're immune, can't get burned, it does nothing. If you get what if So basically your best bet is a fire mm. suit. Yeah. It's like in Fire Force where everything is immune to fire. Fire does nothing. Well yeah, if you're immune to an element. I mean You'd have to amount of it'd take a lot of water to, to whack you if you if you've got muters and stuff. 
If you hit a person with, like, a ball of water, it's still physical. It's still going to hurt. Hmm. Here's the thing from Mass. Water itself could do well, nothing, so. but, you know, the, uh, the physical impact of it will still uh, do some damage. Hmm. I mean, fire in of density would also have a physical impact, but... Ow. How? It's gas and air. It doesn't have physical mass. What? Or very little no, physical well, mass. Well, if you think about it. Have you ever never felt the wind on your face? That's not fire, is it? But fire is gas, as you said. Gas has impact if it's dense enough. A fireball is not dense. I have a mass. Hmm? You would still take a fireball. I've... Well, I would do believe would still think I have mass. Yeah. It would all have gas, lots all... of mass. Yeah, all gas has mass. It'd be more uh, pressure rather than anything else. So. It's under pressure. Sorry. It's like these people in shows who have dragon scale armor and they get burned. I'm like, how? <laughs> well, it's obviously from an ice dragon. <laughs> they just didn't realize. So I had an entire, I had an entire internet rant about somebody who tried to explain why lightning doesn't work in shows because it doesn't act as it's supposed to act, and it's incredibly annoying. About the shows where the character has thunder powers, and it is just lightning. Yeah, it's incredibly dumb. Amazingly dumb. I'd give him a pass if if their person had thunder powers and their power was to make really loud noises. To be fair, a really loud noise power like that would be really deadly. Yeah. Because you can shatter know. people's eardrums with that. Yep, and people die from that. Well, I mean, to be fair, there is a... a um, grace of gods, by the grace of gods. He does actually have a sound magic, which he does make like a big bo sonic boom. So now here's a random question for you there. Would music magic be classed as wind as an element? Um Yes. I'm not trying to confuse you, I'm literally just asking. No, I'm just thinking so technically yes, but it'd probably be a mix of of things rather than just one thing. But then you could it, depends use the... on what, it depends on the effects you were trying to do. If you were just trying to use... But you can use the wind effect. to amplify it, so it's feasible. Yeah. Well, yeah, because technically is the guy in Jujutsu Kaisen who does that technically. He has an amp which he uses his uh, cursed energy to yeah. amplify. And then it's just also a guy whose power is to gamble, and it's the most convoluted shit I've ever read. Uh, so techni technically you could have sound, but again, it depends on what is sound I mean, an air-based power? Sound magic. I mean, sound is just vibration of molecules, isn't it? Because, to bring it back to uh, Grace of the Air, they've got uh, saying, dark magic on with it as well. Yeah, it, makes it sense, it applies it? dark magic to it and then just makes like a weird dark magic sound song attack. Because the cat. I mean, he's got um, a bird which does the exact same thing. It applies darkness to its screeching, which technically is a wind-based thing. So, dark wind magic. Depends on how you really want to apply things, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, that's a whole lot of things, isn't it, really? How do you want to apply it? I just like the unusual powers. Uh, like, I've been trying to make a skill set for one of my characters in my new book thing. Which uh, is based around sound magic, but it's unusual and hard to determine. I mean, 
Naruto had a couple of sound ninjas. You didn't get much sight of them, but... They didn't was... really use sound, though. They used air shockwaves. Well, I mean, you could use the... One could um... use sound to oh, no. direct it into people's eardrums, didn't they? Yeah, and one of them was a spider. That's not... Oh. I'm not talking about the later ones, I'm talking about the ones in, in the uh, tuning exam which actually use sound powers. One used sound to cause illusions. Yeah, and then they were never mentioned again. That's because they were killed. Yeah, but the village still exists. Sort of. Without any of without its leaders, without any of its no, They would have made a people. new leader, so then it was just never mentioned again. Mm. Wasn't it Orochimaru the leader of that village? Yeah, yeah, but Orochimaru. someone else. But he, Orochimaru didn't die. No, he fled. No, no, saying he couldn't go back there. Uh, probably to be a bit too obvious, wasn't it? He doesn't really need to in Boruto. They know where he is. <laughs> it's fine. They've just revived uh, the Nine Tails anyway, so that's fun. You know what? I don't mind that. I do. He was erased from existence. Obviously not. Clearly not. Yeah, it's because Kishimoto just went, yeah, we can't do a series without him, can we? Um, I, I didn't like the fact that they got rid of Kuma, to be fair. What? I just, um, Nine, Tail, uh, Nine Tails is quite a big part of the series. And it was just how they did it was a bit. Poor. It was very poor, yes. Poor. Probably. I've not seen that bit, but. Is he a big part of the series? He was a big part of Naruto's series. Boruto's? Yeah, because they need the chakra well to do other stuff. Because in Boruto, only the aliens can do stuff. Oh. I don't know. Well, which ones were by wall? Uh, a meteor, I would say, would be Earth Element, not Fire. Just, yes. I would say that. Because the fire would come from it entering the atmosphere. What else we got? So every, every one I've seen has been... They've made it fire, haven't they? Yeah, it's weird though, why? Probably because it's fire destruction. Yeah, but that, the fire only comes what? from the oh, atmosphere uh, and friction. Yeah. but It's the rain of fire, isn't it? I mean, there's something for you, including Meteor. You could have a guy who can do air bursts. So, do you want air burst? Is Ooh, air burst? It's so when a meteorite comes into the atmosphere and explodes, and it causes like an intense blast. Um, they discovered one recently, actually, um, an old city ruins. I think it's the old Sodom and Gomorrah from the biblical times. They found the city recently, and it must have been hit by an airburst because um, everything above a certain height was virtually vaporized. So they found a skeleton, but it's just the waist and legs, and the spinal cord has been literally dis burnt to dust by an like, instant flash of heat, which was a well, thousand so times well, more stronger than a nuclear well, bomb. Volcanic eruptions. Would they be so, more fire? Maybe. It's more lava, and lava's more earth than fire to me. Because it uh, itself is not on fire, is... it's just heat. Volcanoes are heat-based, because lava, it doesn't burn, it just is heat. Yeah, uh, lava is just molten rocks and... Yeah. And then, it's, um, it sounds water-based. Yeah, maybe. Because it, it's more... I'd say it's more wind based because it's more vibrations in the air than anything else. But the water could no stop the music because water doesn't. Water stops a lot of uh, vibrations, doesn't it? Yeah. It travels. It travels easier through um, certain materials. Although water can be also be quite a good transmitter for vibrations as well. Can chimera again? There was um, there was a thing about earthquakes underwater. Actually, you get these crazy shock waves underwater from um, earthquakes. You would think you'd be safe underwater from an earthquake, and you really aren't. No. 
actually quite interesting. From a tsunami. Actually, underwater, you're probably safer from a tsunami to a certain degree, but the you'll still get hit by a, really? like a, you, a wave of water underwater. It's quite you're counting molten rock as fire. Interesting. Molten rock is fire? Hmm. I guess it depends on how, how molten it is, in my opinion. Like, if you've only got the four elements in a game, I'd say molten rock's more fire than earth. But it's still quite earth. This is where I do combinations. Yeah, it's more heat based. It's a it's a requirement well, of both. Well, just think about this. Fire is technically not a true element. Because it's the combination of actual elements. Technically all of them are really. Well water is water is a combination what? of two elements. Uh no, that's actual elements. I mean if you're just taking well, fire is really basic. So is fire is just no air, is air that is being combust. Is you're literally burning air. Fire can't exist without air. So technically, fire but is water, air. Water can't exist without air. Because water's too airs combined. And I've got yeah, to say firewall. To. The loudest animals on Earth are uh, Naruto and Dragon Ball Z fans. Not anything in the water. I would say Ruby fans are quite high no, up there. I, I've never seen a single one of them argue online. Huh. Is that a joke? No, I'm serious. you never seen a Ruby fan? No, the only people I've seen fight online, like, and I've been online every single day because I take part in these rants, is Goku can solo all people and One Punch Man can solo all people. Those are the only people that are online right now. Yeah, the, the whole Goku can... I don't understand the obsession but with Goku that. Goku can destroy a planet. If you have to destroy a planet to win, people live on that planet. Goku needs to live on a planet. He can't breathe in space. He can't just send the Goku. No, can't. he can't. Only Freezer's race can breathe, uh, breathe in space. Um, you see him, you see him in space. There are space a few that can breathe in space. Actually. He's in the not atmosphere, not actual space. Cat. It's That's all you want. It's literally can, he yeah. says it out loud that he can't breathe in space and he can't survive there. There's no air in space. That's why. But he can, he, he can breathe with very little air because he obviously you we would not breathe that high up. Yeah, so they've got a greater lung capacity, but and they can survive in minimum air. But also, you have to think that Goku also because obviously I'm assuming you've never watched Dragon Ball Goku. <laughs> Well, had to train to be able to breathe yeah. that high up and not lose his mm. breath. The problem with Saitama, though, is he has lots of feats, like breaking reality. The problem is he's in a comedy series and he has to win for comedic value. He has the comedy immunity. Mm. It's like putting a guy against um, Tom and Jerry. That's always the problem with a lot of these... Uh... Battle fight battle things is the completely different types of universes and different types of rules. And it's always a stupid thing when they compare them. Yeah, because if you're putting a character to fight each other, that's fine. But if they're acting in, for example, uh, you know, in their own personality, Goku would never destroy a planet. So what's the point of bringing it up? Unless it's unless it's Namek. He's always stupid enough to let the opponent get to their most powerful, and that's why he'd lose. Because he's, he's a battle junkie that way. Yeah, battle junkie likes to... Yeah. I bet Goku's personality seems to be different every series. Because Super Rear is really inconsistent with uh, his character. So what a lot of he... things can be. Okay, this beaver's pissing me off. Why are you even fighting him? Because he attacked me. He chose death. Well, he probably will choose it for me. I made that I'm in a normal overworld, so I'm not actually doing a mission yeah. bit. It's like, the, it's matter, like the Goku Superman debate. It will only end as to whatever the person want, uh, making the video wants it to end as. You mean like any Batman versus any other character kind of thing? 
But the main no, problem is, is Golden Age Superman was basically a comedy series, and he has the powers of to do whatever he wants. And since those are written down in canon, he's basically invincible. Technically, old Golden Age was fairly comical and dead. Where he lifts a book of infinite pages and can collapse um, galaxy. Uh, 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 coll what is it? He holds. I think he holds up the sky at one point and holds black holes in his hand. You can't scale that. No. I also like the fact that original Superman couldn't fly. No, he just. I mean, and then he never be... even said why he can fly, because some people assume it's a feat of his super strength. Uh, yeah, some people say that it's basically he's just jumping. Is that really, really. really... <laughs> no, this is Superman. So basically, he's not flying, he's just jumping and then falling really slowly. Which is what, what someone has said. Which is why Invincible but, makes a point of explaining why they can fly. Another another one is that they just use uh, gravity. They can manipulate gravity. There's a thousand and one reasons as to why Superman can fly. Yeah. Oh, that's a point. I forgot to mention. ask this question. What are you thought of the latest uh, Invincible uh, episodes? I think it was fine. I've not watched him yet. I haven't heard much about people talk about the latest Invincible. Uh, and surprised. this has just appeared, so I think they're going to. I did not know it was on. So I'm always... And this has appeared, oh yeah. dear. Yeah. Now, I wonder if they're going to have the balls to actually... Uh, do it. I'll be impressed. Hmm? I'd be impressed if they end up doing. I think they'll. The I think they will. They need to. They need to. I don't know what you're on about, but I'm just saying they need to. It was a very. Anissa has a kid with Mark because she believes him to oh, be no, powerful, she... so she attacks him. About. She rapes him. Yeah. That scene, yeah. You need to be in there. Um, you know the um, the beef. Zamber uh, gone, yeah. He he just did a move that we didn't see before. He used sand to create his own bulwark to attack me. He can actually make his own bulwark. That is utter genius. Oh, I'm getting real sick of fighting this back now. Okay, this is this beaver's pissing me off. He won't let me do my special mm. attacks. Oh, come on! This is such bullshit. He keeps doing that vacuum move and you can't get out of it. So bull. You know, it killed me more time than anything else. Well, he keeps... He has, that's what he's getting me with. Because I, don't know I, if I, will. I think they will. I think they will do that with Anissa because they're trying to be more dark. They've changed certain things, but that's a, re that's a plot point that has to happen because, you know, because he has... Those kids that, well, the one child he has with Anissa matters. Like, he's oh a main character. This... <laughs> I need a skill which makes it so I can't be interrupted during my special tarts because it's bullcrap. I manage to pull it off and then it just instant negates it every time. Oh, fuck off, game. Uh, you've lost me. Uh, am I buying cards? No. No, I'm not. You will the next set comes out. Well, he, 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 this guy who posted that card, the £100 one, he said he wants two of the previous one for the QCR one, and I don't have any. And I'm not giving him 100 quid. <laughs> what has he got? Uh, quarter century rev in city. Yeah, they really need it. I'm not buying it. I've, I'm skint. That's because you just threw away all your cards. That weren't selling. <laughs> they wasn't trying. They were 0.3 pence. I swear if you just put a big box of 4,000 and just put on eBay, and went, someone would probably pay some money. People are not coming to my house, Dave. 
Well, that Pokemon guy. I met him away from my house. I bet he was just getting some loads of free Pokemon cards. He gave me some graded stuff, so I wasn't too bad. Lost. Also, it wasn't. He did actually get something for it. He he didn't want. He he didn't want to get them for free, so he did give me one of them. Yeah. That is very nice. Man. Fuck off, game. I kept all the uh, really good commons anyway. Oh, so you did keep some? I kept all the good ones. By like good ones, do you mean like early originals? Like first, first seven originals. sets. Oh, this is. Off game. It's not even balanced. This is actually a very badly designed boss I mean, fight, just either. I mean, they could do other boys and change the plot, but I don't think they will because they've just announced. Um, Invincible's going for an extra two seasons, so it's, it's got five at the moment. What, is he suggesting that uh, they change the plot of it? Potentially, because they did in The Boys, but I don't think they will for this. Well, The Boys was a badly written comic, that's why. It had an interesting... I have a friend uh, who will disagree with you. Well, his friend needs to read more books, it was terribly written. Um, characters were inconsistent. Um, it, a lot of it was just gritty for the sake of gritty, without any real thought behind it. It was an interesting concept, um, but it wasn't executed very well. Um, it 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 keep trying to trigger. It keep trying to. Um, no one was a good guy, but it kept trying to. Make someone a good guy, and then it's like, oh yeah, but um, Butcher just decided to rape someone. But he's a good guy, remember? And it just... Uh, it was just... It, it, there's a lot of problems with the book. Um, so I don't mind them changing the plot of uh, Boys, because it, it wasn't very good. And also, there's too many things in it they couldn't actually legally do on TV. Honestly, really. I was never a fan of the boy, so I only got to end of season one. Also the whole paid massive me enough. The whole massive paedophile arc in the comics would have been a very, very, very hard thing to adapt. So that's also why they probably changed that. They got away with quite a lot to be fair, but the TV show. It's in those people who think that Homeland they can beat Mark from Invincible in a fight. Disgusting. I mean, it's a key, it's a key obvious bit of who we win. It's in the name of the characters. Invincible would win e easily. Like, well, Homeland yeah. never really fights, yeah. he always runs away when he's about to lose. Well, it's also Invincible kind of makes it obvious. Well, yeah, he fights the final boss, Thrag, in the sun. But he has heat vision! Uh, he fought in the sun. Heat vision and does then... not do a thing. Homelanders stole human to a extent. No. He's a modified human, but he's a human nevertheless. While nope. Mark is a completely different species. Oh, you're talking about Homelander. Yeah. Oh, talking about Mark, uh, as we all yeah, know. Mark is, um, well, Mark is technically a, an interspecies, isn't he? He's yes. part human. Though. Yeah, but uh, the Ultramite DNA is just so strong. You just know, I know how it works. So, yeah. Well, like how oh. uh, Mark's brother exists. Yep. Well, did exist. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, because he was born to that uh, insect lady, and over time... Because he, he was born as an insect, but over time became more human because of Filtramite DNA. Yep. Or reasons, basically. Well, because of Filtramite DNA. Yeah. Just overrides. And Filtramite just conveniently happened to be very human. Yeah, they are amazingly powerful. Hmm. 
Technically, I guess, uh, Vilt, would you say Viltramites are stronger than Kryptonians? No. Not the same. Oh, Except they don't have the weakness of Kryptonians. I mean, stick a Viltramite next to a red sun, nothing's gonna happen. And at one point, Viltramites have like a weakness to high sonic things or whatever. That's what they've always got a weakness of. The high sonic? Sound attacks? Uh, it, 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 it disrupts their inner ear so they can't fly. I mean, that makes sense because, you know, we need wasn't your ears there, to balance. Wasn't there a point where um, it turned, if they get hit with Sonic, they can be easily killed as well? It's not so much easy to kill, it just makes them. It affects it makes the head so they're not weaker. Yeah. Well, because it, 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 it makes it so that you can hit them. One of the strongest marks from the alternate universe got killed because of uh, he got sonic and then he just was instantly murked by uh, the robot guy. Hey, it won't kill him; it'll just weaken him a bit. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's sound attacks can't, can't weaken them to kill them. It just literally is more debilitating than anything. Like if anyone else got hit in the ear with a very loud sound. Hmm. This David because obviously, or... like you've got a really strong sense of hearing, it's going to do damage. Yeah, it's just that it's effect. It specifically states to be, you know, it affects uh, his flight. Yeah, it'd be like um, just like affecting the normal person's walking. Yeah, you, know? you have ear issues. You have a uh, loss of sense of balance. I guess it depends She's on the combat. Uh, it doesn't do much because else to him, though. In in huh? some parts, the uh, the uh, inner ear thing seems to it seems to be far more disruptive than other bits. It's a bit it's a little inconsistent. I would have said in chapters of what I've read of Interval. Hmm. Sometimes it seems to be far more to build it in another. It's how he gets kicked off Earth in what would probably be season three. But I won't go into spoiler territory for people who um, don't know that. I don't know that, so I will see. See you later. <laughs> oh my god, this my job. fucking beaver. It just keeps spamming the same massive absorbing shockwave attack. Literally he's done it about 50 times. Must be a noob. It's... Oh, noob spam attacks. You do? Well, yeah, the problem is about this fight is it's hard because it's incredibly shittily designed. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the beaver is insufferable. I know, it's just, it's incredibly badly designed. It's just... Whoever made the beaver doesn't, doesn't know how to do game proper game design. It's the first time we've got wiped on it, Nat, when we first the beaver, because it's insufferable. Well, because it's just, it's a bullshit moves it has, which you can't do anything about, you can't escape from. And it does an insane amount of damage, and it can just spam it as much as it fucking feels like. It's just bad design. And there's no brakes on it really either, is there? Because only can break bits to weaken it. This guy is nothing to really break. And he also, we couldn't find um, any of the big Camino things. Didn't seem to do jack all against it, which was kind of a. Well, I've just I've just finished him off with uh, last life, and I keep kind of run away to find healing pots. Oh, that wasn't mine. That wasn't in the quest, that was a free roam one. Well, at least you got some experience. Not really, because it just gave me pretty much no reward. As a yeah, but you, you can at least make its armor now. I can't do that yet. It beats and it gives you the reward to be able to use a launcher, Camino. Which means you can build, you can build it, and then you can fire any 
everything you want out of it, basically. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Fill basic curry curry into the fray whenever it's placed on the device. In fact, hunters can also catapult us. I'm just going to build it, just see what it does. Why are we getting a last run in movie firewall? Why? Hmm? Firewall said we're apparently last getting running? a last run in movie. Okay. Uh, Why? It's going to suck. Brad, we must hold out hope. You never know. They may do it justice. <laughs> they won't, but they might. Good. Okay, I don't know how it works. Better. This this launcher thing. I. That's like fire. What was a thing? Though. Like I have no faith that any adaptations yeah. can do well right now. That makes sense. Apparently, Fallout's doing alright. I mean, episode uh, one is really stupid, but it is doing alright, yeah. We'll see if it keeps up. I mean, it's hmm. not the best adaptation, but it's better than a lot of the other shite they brought out. Yeah, I can imagine. I haven't watched it yet, so... Alright, I will not Again. spoil anything for you. I haven't watched a lot of things yet, so... I know some people complain about it changing the Fallout law. They've changed New Vegas law. Yeah. From what I, from what I gather. Oh. Apparently Halo's what? getting a season 2 as well. No one cares about I Halo. I think it wouldn't be getting a season 2, it will have been made for two seasons because it really bombed i wouldn't have imagined they'd make a season two but i mean they could have done i mean anyway. if they stopped taking his helmet off i think people would have been i mean velma's getting a season two and that's even worse well i've just seen the weapon for the beaver by the way and it is ridiculously powerful yeah. Um, although I can't build it just yet. He said it'll be an earth weapon, it's the only weapon we don't have yet. Oh, it's two, it gives you two weapons. No, I can't build either of them. They're both really strong, they've got minus affinity, but they're like ridiculously high power. Hmm. So basically, they're like uh, the Uragan weapons. But it's not hard to make a living shitting on the Halo TV show. <laughs> See, it's absolutely garbage. <laughs> A quick break and then I'll do these four last rolls. Hmm. A lot of people probably will care about uh, Halo. Well, I thought they're doing it in injustice. I can't say much because I've not seen it. I've only heard. Oh, Halo is terrible. <laughs> is there a way in Wild Hearts to make armor look like other armor? Because that would be nice. Brad. There we go. Headphones back. Let's go. Oh. Got a question for you, Brad. Yo. Do you know in Wild Hearts, are you able to make armor look like another armor? What, like because... um, lead armor? Yes. I don't know. Because I 
I need to upgrade my armor, but I absolutely despise the other arms, uh, the other designs. I've got verbal, but I badly need to upgrade it. <laughs> well, you won't see it for very long before we get some more upgrades, just because we'll get those on Sunday. Yeah, but I'd, I'd badly need to though. But I, I, mean, I, I really need some massive upgrades, but I ain't had a chance yet. A lot of mine require fighting a fire ape, and I'm not fighting that by myself. And yes, okay, I, apparently, I agree. Apparently, you can. I've just looked up there. What's so that? You can, and apparently, you've got to go to a young boy who makes cosmetics. Oh, I and know. And he that will make guy. cladding. It's called cladding. But apparently, you've got to be prepared for it to be upset because it's apparently a ridiculous cost. And we don't have it yet, so yeah. And yes, by wall, is magnetism is underrated. Because the only magnetism character that's basically ever shown, ever, is Magneto. And I can't, apparently I seems to be a sh I can't remember any others. Forge. Magnetism is such a cool power. Well... As it'll grow my chest, I've gone, I've gone from 9 defense and my chest put at 20. Kind of necessary. It is for you because you're the tank character. What I, what would be nice is if you put one of the um, emblems on that gets you targeted instead of me. Tank, tank, where are you, tank? You're not don't. tanking. Well, maybe you should take off the fin on yours, which, which makes him angry. I don't have that. Don't oh, have aggro. I have thirty-two percent. They can't see me, and when we first fought the the the, bot, the thing that Dave was just fighting, then it didn't stop attacking me for ten minutes. Yeah, they they, they really don't like you, which is kind of annoying because I was trying. I was trying. Ironically, to Dave has the same thing. <laughs> That's why. God, it's annoying. I don't have any aggro on my character. So. You need some. <laughs> Uh, if you do the first area and collect all five of the uh, relic things, one of them is aggro. Oh, I've got some aggro charms, but why would I replace a, a plus four percent def uh, defense boost for a for one percent aggro charm? It's eight percent, and you can have five charms at once. Yeah, but why would I get rid of sacrifice? Um, decent charms for aggro. It depends which you class is decent. Brad doesn't get, get hit. <laughs> I don't want to get hit though. Neither you know, does Brad. Oh. And he's a paperweight. Apparently. God, Comic Magneto is so much cooler than our one. Especially the one in uh, 97 that just came out. It's terrible. Hmm? X-Men 97, the one that just came out. Magneto yep. is terrible, I'm not sure. Uh. It's basically, a, it, it comes onto the X-Men team for a bit, but then we just assume that it's going to end. Something that's going to happen is just going to blatantly turn evil again. I'm like, if he is, what's the point? He doesn't need to be redeemed. Let him be evil. Is he and, still? Is and he yes, still Rogue is survivor? dating Magneto in the show. What? Did you not She's know dating that? Dating old man. Yeah, that does happen. Uh. Is he still a Jewish survivor? They got rid of that. I think so. I ain't watched a lot of it. I've only watched a little bit. Uh, oh, Rogue went out with Gambit. Canonically, mm. yes. In this one, no. Sure, technically did in the show. It almost he tried, but she was kind. Of, but if he, when he tried kissing her, it, it almost killed him. That I do would, believe that would happen. Yes, that she has control of her powers, but that doesn't actually happen anymore. Um, in the ninety-eight one, she didn't have control of her powers. Or the old X Men. I haven't watched yeah. the new version because the new version was just like a shit on the old classic great. I used to love that character as well. 
I think X Men Evolutions did um, Rogue well. X Men Evolution was good. It was a different type of Rogue, but it was still good. I liked Rogue from Evolutions. I liked X Men Crawler. I wasn't boom really boom. in it for much. So, uh, did Boom Boom appear in any anything else other than X Men Evolutions? I can't oh, remember him being in anything now. She, uh, she was the one that the blonde hair lasts for the little balls of explosive explosives. Doesn't ring a bell. Fair enough. I mean, there might have been. I just can't oh, remember. It's just right. been that long. I know. Yeah. Uh. And then was it Storm's nephew Spike? <clears throat> Yeah, Spike's Spike, right. fine. He's a character. I found something random. So, exploring, I found a random item called Orangifandi Constrictor. Or there you go. Boom like. Boom was in the original X Men comics, in the original animated as well. Oh, wow. This was, she was a. Character they brought back, basically. Interesting. It's a lot of URs to finish this deck. I'll finish it though. Eventually. I don't mind them doing remakes so long as the remakes are different-ish, but not like this, what they're doing now. It's not a remake, it's supposed to be a continuation and it's just a crap continuation. And randomly they morph more of a character. Yeah. But they made him goofy, rather than a very tragic character that he was. With foolish, get ashed. Of course, he did. <clears throat> yeah, as long as it's true to character, I think it's fine. It's not though. Yeah, that one wasn't. <laughs> this annoys me because it was such a great show, and you, you and then were, and it's so hard to try and get it on like DVD. You had to pay a extortionate amount of money to get a DVD version of it. Which is Caroline. Well, that's the uh, thing in it. So, what release it, Disney being douches? I want my anime up that I want on DVD, but it's uh, on Amazon so that it'll never come out on DVD. No, Amazon do release theirs on DVD. Well, I hope so, because I really want it. Amazon is. I don't expect any time soon. Amazon do release their streaming uh, programs about six months to a year after they release it on the streaming platform on DVD. Is, is this, where you, is this where you ask me how long it's been and it's been over? Yeah, uh, better than a thing, I guess, for sure. Which one is it? 86. Ah. Hm. Love that show. It's one of my favourites of all time. Wow. So good. Most annoying one is when you get a show you really like, and they did do a DVD version for it, but only in another country. That is frustrating as all. Well. That'd be Voltron. Uh, it was like a, a TV show that my mum wanted, and there's a, a complete collection of it, but only available in the Netherlands for some. It's a British show, but it was only available in the Netherlands on a complete box set. We'll go find you know, one. The probably the most topics we talk about are elemental powers, comics, and power scaling. I mean, not so much power scaling, but comics and elemental powers. Sure. Yep. And I will reiterate: fire is garbage. <laughs> Why is the bestest? That's why everyone doesn't use it. What, the literal most shown in the world.
Can't unleash the true power of fire. It'd be too powerful. What the hell are you doing? I'm getting attacked by uh, some spiky balls, fluff balls. What the hell? I like how fire always beats ice when it shouldn't do. Always what? Fire always beats ice even though it shouldn't. Hmm. I can give or take that one. I think it depends really. Still, mate, more than often than not, I think. Why, right, ice is the creation of temperature, so even if it melted it, it'd turn it into steam and they could just freeze that again. Just really like making powers, me. It's one of my most fun <laughs> things. It is fun. Like inventing the uh, eating power of the devour for my character from my things, really nice. Oh, from like re monster. Actually, hers is a lot different than the re monster one. It's similar in a way, but not as ridiculous. Not as broken. Uh, I'm just trying Xyz for now, Firewall, and then I'm going to get all my bonuses with that, and then I'm going to switch to uh, Sword Soul or some other Synchro deck. Which is my plan. Actually, my character's not broken at all. <laughs> she spends the first uh, uh, whole part Struggling for her life because her skills don't work. I think that's map is huge. Because <laughs> she get my character in particular gains no buffs. From fighting, for example, any humans. Because she can't gain anything from fighting humans. She can only gain stats and abilities from beasts. So she will always run away from them. She'll never fight them. All right, how would we balance a person gaining animal abilities? Well, it depends what how re restrictive your system is. Is it like Vixen from Justice League, or is it like the Animorphs? Oh god, that's a bit tripped on memory there. Uh, depends on how you do it. <laughs> because if if they the if the ability is stack and there's no cap, it can get ridiculous. But if it if it's like a one per creature, or one per like um like one skin power skin to something else, and you can't stack like. Wolf skin, bear skin, dragon skin, or whatever kind of beasts in your in your world. If you can't stack stuff like that, it might be a, a little easier to balance. And it depends how uh, you're born with the power of a random animal scaled. Uh, well, it depends like how they gain the power as well. 
If it's by touch, or is it, use... you have to kill them. And versatility, don't forget versatility. Can they apply this power to a weapon? And there's also, like, um, if you get, a, like, for example, just a bear's arm, that's not going to be very strong, because the thing's attached to it. You wouldn't have the force and the muscles in the entire body to swing. Yeah, you rip arm. your arm off. So, is it, is, you got the two different versions, then you got the one where you change parts of the body into an animal version, or you have the things like uh, Vixens, where it's you, you take you utilize the spirit of said animal to imbue you with the strength or speed or whatever of said animal. And then it's like, is it all no. is it all animals in one go? Is it one at a time? One at a time, gentlemen. Yeah. And there's also you can't talk in beast form. So, for example, if you go into a bear that is not bulletproof, and you turn into a bear to fight someone, you will still get shot. There's lots of uh, different aspects to it. Hmm. And then you get to become the protagonist of the webtoon I've been reading, which is stronger the more he eats, and it is ridiculous. I know what you're on about. Yeah. So yes, he, can, he can become a dragon, but this is a dragon with um, orc muscles, extra, f like a uh, Lung capacity of whale creatures for extra breath powers is absolutely stupid. That yep. is a bit too extreme. He's not unkillable, though. It's still a bit extreme, though. I found that story quite interesting. How it ends in Season 1 is just stupid. But yeah, it's great. Where it got to, where he was speaking to the chimera. Oh, it gets even more <laughs> stupid after that. Thinking of a, a person inheriting the power of just a single animal at random. Oof. That'd suck if you just got a uh, See, really that... bad animal, like a fish's yeah. power. You'd have to, you'd probably die on land. Well, it depends on one whether or not you can activate an act. Or de and deactivate, and two, can you imbue this attribute of an animal onto other things? So basically, onto your equipment. Yeah, because if you had like orc skin, you could just apply that to yourself and all of your equipment, including your weapon. Yeah, and thus increasing the durability of your weapons. Like even if it's just like one it. particular aspect, that's not too bad. Yeah. But if it's a random animal, you could get like. And it, then it depends what you class as the power of an animal. Like, would you class the. Is it an ant's power of extreme strength for its size? Or would you class multiple arms as a power? Actually, if that's been um, scaled to a human being, that would be insane. Yeah. But then if the power yeah, is six cool. arms, that's not really a power, is it? Then did you ever watch the Animal Olympics back in the day? No. Where um, they decided to split up the Olympics into like um, amphibians, mammals, birds, whatever, insects, and they they resized all the animals, and it's like CG animals, into human sized. So like the insects, and the insects were just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Human sized, but then like elephant was pathetically weak as a human sized thing. Like a would would an ability of an insect, or so for for example, could you give a person the ability? Of a fish's intelligence. Technically. It's random. If it's a random thing, then technically yes. Because that's not a power. Like a whale's ability to swim or something like that, sure. But that's not really a power, is it? That's 
Okay, this is getting into the comic book thing, which I didn't want to get into. But why can Thor's hammer give the powers of Thor, even though Thor's powers aren't Thor's powers, they're just what his race does? Because magic says so. It's like, actually, like Thor's powers are not his really Asgardian genes. No, but there's um, the uh, ru runic magic that Odin used, he used one of his eyes to get. Oh. Is what he used to put on the Thor's hammer. Technically, it's more of a. It basically, it's more of a magic buff than them actually gaining Thor's power. Right. And Firewall's just put there a human with a jumping power of a flea could jump over the Eiffel Tower. Yes, that is true. But if you oh, do not have the required sure. secondary skills to land, that is yeah. not a good idea. Yeah, she had the yes, flea. can jump over there, but he will come crashing down. Yeah, and it will the, not end well. In the Animal Olympics, they did have the flea, and uh, it went insane to the atmosphere. But then it couldn't really control where it went and ended yeah. up outside the stadium into the into the ocean nearby because it went that far. It couldn't control itself. It was Do you want to know something funny. stupid that I read this week, Nat? It's um, perfectly possible that every human in the world has the ability to stop time. It's just they don't know because they can't walk, they can't move while it's stopped. Or perceive that it's stopped because time has stopped. That's just stupid. Yes, it is. But it is plausible. I mean, anything. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's perfectly true. That is a true thing. Yeah. Have you never done loads of work and then all of a sudden you look at your thing and no time has moved whatsoever? Did you throw us time? Yeah. Well, still working. Time is a lot different to actual time being changed. Yeah, but if you have the power to stop time oh, but not the ability to move while in time, they are two separate skills. A bit like moving at super speed and then being invincible while moving at super speed. Yes, which is what the speed boss does, because if you don't have that, you will die in the rain. Because you'll be going supersonic speeds through the rain, and it'll be like bullets just going straight through you, and you'll die instantly. Hmm. Don't forget the fact that you're going to hero. Be, uh... You actually, you heroically die to rain. That is how a person dies in Darker Than Black. I don't know what Dark and Black is. So good. Because a person does have super speed and a person has the power to summon rain and it does kill them. Also, it's not so in your analogy there, it's not if you've got an ant's power, it wouldn't be a specific ant's power. Like uh, extra legs or strength, it'd be every aspect of a, the ant's power, but none of the drawbacks of it. Okay. I mean, a spider's power would be particularly powerful because they can fall from any height and they're so light, they'll never die from falling from heights. Not, well, the reason why they don't die from heights falling is because they always fire Fred off to cap to no, slow. it's because down. they're that light, their terminal velocity is that low, it, they won't die. Also, the whole Fred thing is a kind of a key thing. I mean, just think about that, you could make Fred stronger than steel. Because technically Spider's uh, Fred, um, for what it is, the size and depth is far more powerful than steel. It's just that it's so, its mass is so weak so low that we can destroy it if you size up to human size it would be insane <laughs> so um, we did use spider silk for stuff oh it's her ones there yeah well that's how reincarnated as a spider does and she loses her powers when she gets a god stuff yeah. he just sits there making incredible god silk there's some really nice silk. And she makes uh, cool. epic god tier armor for everybody out of out of god silk. Because she can't use her other skills.
Right, so you do get all the skills, not just one specific one. So it doesn't go into required secondary skills. Cool. But then would the powers of a hawk give you the power to turn into a hawk, or would you gain giant hawk wings? Because for a human to fly, their wings would need to be massive. I didn't say that these skills would be practical. <laughs> Which, to be fair, would be nice to see. Oh, yeah. These are just things I always think about with when making powers. Mm. Standard. Oh, really? It does it like last fraction of seconds. Yes. As it does. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy win. But then it's also like, if the universe is giving you this power, does it only count for uh, animals that are alive right now, or does it do extinct ones too? Hmm. That's something to think about as well. Or it could be more of a spiritual thing, maybe, yeah. Uh, there's a character in a manga I've read, who gets who can gain the powers of any animal she befriends. So she has like uh, griffin powers at one point. Because she does befriend one. But that's a, a way to limit it. It keeps interrupting the last fraction of a second. <laughs> Bullshit. Mm. We're tormenting you. Okay, what we got? I think one thing I've discovered is too much, too many animations in this game are far too slow against some of his enemies, and it just makes it just not particularly fun. All right, then. It's just constant so, bullcrap. If this power system of the animals was a thing, Firewall says, should they be permanently a part of the body, or things that you can just grow whenever you need them? Because if you were to like grow wings, for example, would they cover your arms? be your arms or would they be like out of your back because if they're out of your back that's going to have to grow bones and that is going to be incredibly painful and you will pass out I would say that they're grown once and then you know you just have them unless you somehow lose them and then you can regrow them again maybe or maybe that's a weakness of if the wings get damaged later, you still can't regrow them. They are just damaged forever. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? It's like, because uh... that's I think how mutants work. Because I think if Angel, the character in the X Men, would get their uh, wings hurt, yeah. they are permanently hurt. Uh, no, he has because he got a uh, robotic wings. Yes, yeah. because they're born with um... those wings in their genes so they wouldn't have to regrow them. It's not so much for power, is it's just that that's what they are. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, even Wolverine's claws were originally just bone. Yeah, that's, that's the no, thing, I, I don't know if that was new and was added for the movies, or it was before that, I don't know. But no, I think it's it an alright addition. I believe it was uh, added beforehand. Um, 
Because, like... I think he was always known that they were kind of bone. Bones so aren't strong, though. Especially when they're that thin. That's why... If you're trying to whack someone with claws well, made of bone, they'd break. If you think about it, his bone claws are actually more meant to be, like, the claws of, of a wolf. And that's... You know, and he's got the healing factor thing as well, so it probably wouldn't have yeah, needed... And also, they were they were actually more pointy than sharp, so they're probably more for stabbing than they were for slashing. Yeah, they were they were he used them to stab, but um, bone can be quite strong to a certain extent. Um, it just oh yeah, uh, they would regenerate as well. That uh, was they wouldn't. The... Hmm? Wolverine, like, if you cut off Wolverine's arm, his arm does not regenerate. Deadpool's does. On... Wolverine's doesn't. His bone claws did regenerate, though. They didn't. Yeah, yeah. His uh, claws were cracked. Regenerate. They never broke. That's because then the adamantium went over him. If I remember right. Well, yeah. Eventually, he got adamantium. No. Um. No. They, they just regenerate like most of him. Technically, his skull regenerate. Yeah, but his skin, yeah, like, which is he, also bone. They're still there. If you took, if you cut his arm and removed his arm, he doesn't regrow his arm. Oh no, I think he needs to uh, reattach his arm to yeah, yeah. heal. But so if you broke if his he... claws and they like, and, and then it fell off like to the floor, it wouldn't regenerate, would it? I'd imagine. Yeah, it would. If he if you put them uh, as start. long as the, as long as the limb is still there, it can regrow. So it's, it's just basically regrowing bone. Yeah, but his bones, like, then it wouldn't, if you cut his arm off, his arm would grow back in that extent, and it doesn't, because only death can do that. If you lose your fingernails, do they regrow? That's not a bone. Yeah. But it's, it's a similar process. I'm waiting for Firewall yeah. to tell me if I'm right or not. But, um, as far as I'm aware. Because I, I don't know how Wolverine works. I really don't. It, Wolverine changed a lot. To be fair. <laughs> That's what I mean. However, they want it to work. Because at one point, I think Old Man Logan only has one arm. Or at least one version of Wolverine only has one arm. And for that to happen, his arm can't grow back. Yeah, I don't think he can uh, regrow limbs, but uh, claws he can, because they're just but like... Also, Old Man Logan's regenerative abilities are barely working. That's also a key point there. I'll just point. <laughs> so it's not exactly the same as normal. I mean, one time I can think yeah, of. Yeah, outside of a skeleton. Legend. So his skeleton is still there, but I don't know. It's one of them things that I literally don't know. Yeah, it's, it, it fused with his skeleton, the adamantium, so it became like a living metal. But I mean, one time he got killed because his whole adamantium skeleton got ripped out of him. I didn't kill him. So he just re just regenerated. Um, in one in in one universe, I think it was the, it was in the the oh, fuck. it was in the animated one. Um, there was a future where Wolverine had he was all that was left of him was a skeleton. He was dead. Oh my god. Cockcrow keeps doing the flying kick. Stop doing the fucking flying kick. What the hell? There. Glitch through the wall again. <clears throat> It's like one aspect I've thought you could potentially kill Logan with is if you cut his head off fast enough because if you cut it off really slow it'd regenerate behind the blade and his head would never come off, would it? I mean, as in with all things, there is a, um, a metal that stops healing factor. That should not uh, be a thing. Shouldn't be a thing, but that's what Deadpool used to kill everyone. I mean, that'd still be really hard to kill Wolverine with because he, he won't be able to cut through his head because his neck is still metal. Uh, I think it's stronger than adamantium. Of course it is. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. Not only does it bypass it, it oh, also sake, it gets a really ever advantage. <laughs> is it also made of unobtainium? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Oh, it's just stupid. The controls in this game yeah, are so convenient. Really Yeah, Wolverine doesn't really do the standard regeneration that every other thing should. More of a lizard. Oh, come on. Stop stomaching. Tell you what, this cockroll is not as easy in single player, by the way. I defeated him in single player, it wasn't too bad. He's just he's because he's just constantly spamming the flying kick. Literally just spam it non-stop. Yeah, that's why you just make a bulwark and then you just hide behind it for a minute. Yeah. I keep forgetting about the whole fusion Caminos. It's just too much to remember. Well, the only ones I use are the ones that are four of the same thing. I'm about to get a special attack off and then just like a fucking roar or something and it just instantly neutralizes my abilities. It's so stupid. <laughs> It, I would like it if the comics were more consistent with these kind of powers. Uh, comics consistent? They can be, it's just not very often. Yeah, they're consistent when it's the same writer. That's fine, Firewall, it's just... I mean, for all we know, at one point I was right, at one point everyone else is right. Who knows? Because it keeps changing all the time. Yeah, but I think that's probably the issue, current issue with comics as yeah. well. Not all comics, like I keep mentioning, but with DC and Marvel in particular, because it is one of those where it's like there is no straightforward thing. There's no script continuity. Come on, move. Do it like you do with com your mangas and other comics out there. It's, it's kind of a bit of a chaotic mess if you would like a lot of the older ones are well ob more obscure ones are usually fine so more of your indie comics and stuff you're gonna get all your decent ish kind of this is the start this is the end this and is, this is for example happens. heroes that are not very popular are usually fine yeah for example captain britain is fine They've never needed to change him because he is not stupid. You can well, cherry pick. I mean, that's what I generally did. I mean, I just took the entire of um, Superior Spider Man. I just bought all of that. So that's like six books. I didn't get any books in between that. Wait, isn't Superior Spider Man the one it's where. It's Doc Ock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, I, I didn't like that run. I thought it was alright. I enjoyed that one. I'll take Ooh. that over what they're writing right now. Well, that's not saying much, is it, mate? Yeah, Excalibur was great. But I, I do like mm. Captain Britain's one as well, because it also interacts with X-Men, because Psylocke's his sister. So they have a lot of interactions as well. And he is not vastly overpowered for no reason. He is literal magic. Hmm. Well, I will not the firework, man. Make this a lot easier. <laughs> I was looking through the comics I currently have, and I've got some real fun ones. Also, I just put the other day. It's a shard really? of greed, mate, yeah. Like, I posted it onto the uh, Discord thing that I have a volume of Punch Face. That you I don't do. know when you bought that. How you do. See, the series about punching someone in the face. No, not many people have that. Uh, it's from, uh, what do you call it? Fossil it's it's obscure it? jank. That's what it is. 
Hmm. The good old days. Hmm. Got some real nice ones I got from Thought Bubble too, because it used to be more of an indie scene, so I'd always get one indie uh, series every time I went. Mm. I've got some right nice ones. And we yeah. used to get Fire Emblem uh, watercolour prints. I put some of them up in my shed, I just need to find the rest of them out. Should probably go there again. Yeah. Uh, do you want to make an effort to go to the next one? Because if we want to, I, we can make plans and we can go. Yeah, we can do that. I tried to go oh, last dude. time, but I didn't want to go by myself. No, but it, that, it was kind of sprung on us last time, but if we actually want to go, uh, I'll drive us there. Okay, that's, that's, that make that far more doable. It's either that or we find specific train plans. I don't mind either way. I mean, the driving there probably works better, but it's up to you. Have I checked out Gen 13 yet? No. I have been wanting to. But I haven't had chance yet. I've heard mixed things. What, Gen 13? Yeah. I think it'll be... I'll give it a go. You need to get more on your Witchblade comics. I do. I'll get those, though. They're not too difficult to get. Hmm. I'll pop Psychic Bounder. Go to the phase of combat. <laughs> Alright, for context, Firewall, uh, Thought Bubble is a big event, which is usually towards the end of the year, like September-ish, and they bring all the next three months' worth of stuff and it's got comic book signings and other stuff and a big indie scene. But they've moved it from Leeds, where we are, to somewhere else. So we can't go. So we're planning on traping down to get some stuff. Also, apparently it's not as indie as it used to be as well. Well, it gives me more chance to get some stuff, so I'll give it a go. If I can some, I find some obscure, rare comics for myself, I'll, I'll be fine with that. I'll be fine with it. Yeah, last time I went to it, um, there was that book that I got, which was literally just all the alchemy, the um, elements, just like artworks of like the elements, and they've not finished volume yeah, three. This guy yet. is literally called Be Original. Lovely. He's playing Jinzo. I'll give him credit for playing Jinzo. Uh, can someone research if we know when Thought Bubble is yet? Oh god. Uh, um, I believe it will be, be some point in uh, November. Because if we want to plan it, we can go. Like, I won't mind getting train there, or if we want to drive there or not, but if we do want to drive there, we'd have to set off hours early. Like, hours. Also, do not do it on a Sunday. Yeah, I'm not driving it on a Sunday. Well, I went on Sunday last time, and it was just not, not great. But was nowhere's open as well, because basically I was like, oh, these... The, these Places because like, I've got a geek retreat over in thing, so but everywhere was close because it was Sunday. So I go for the Saturday version of it. Yeah. If we are to go, I would plan on doing a Saturday. Yes. Then it's like I don't know if Sean and Tash should go because that would be dragging Logan too. Also, it's the... Uh, and they're not, they're not into but... as comics as much as we are. No. Yeah. Because it's comics and anime as well. Hmm. 
I've got to say, it's a decent power system firewall that you thought of. But a lot of the comic, uh, the insect powers remind me of terraformers, and that is madness. Terraformers, is that the one with the cockroach guys? Yes. I didn't like that series. I'll be frank. That's the guy who's got one of the guys has the punching crab power, and is in, can just punch at supersonic speeds. Oh, the uh, you, you mean the prey mantis? Yeah. Is it a mantis crab or whatever it yeah. was? I can't remember what it is or something like that. It's real power. And then there's, yeah, it's it's a it's an odd series, but I have been meaning to you know read it for a while. I do like myself some power systems. Which is why I'm making all them videos eventually. We chose Siren first, one of the most confusing of the power systems. Uh, it's, it, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll, sh I'll post something onto uh, the uh, Discord for you. I think it should be around here, here somewhere. Do, do, do. The power of the tardigrade to make themselves un basically unkillable. I don't think that shows up a lot in comics and stuff, does it? Where the villain is basically unkillable and they've just got to, they can't defeat them, they've got to find a way to stop them somehow. Because that usually happens a lot in com in a manga and they just go, well, I'm going to seal them away and make it a problem for the next generation. Don't do that. That's stupid. That's, that's, that's what human nature is if uh, fuck the future generation, isn't it? Yeah, but there's not saying like a um, hundred years down the line when they get resealed or unsealed that the the level of magic in the world has gone down, so they're even more screwed. There's lots of things that can happen. <clears throat> Too many tool blood. Okay. I think one of my favorite uh, worlds is the one from Gun X Sword. Love that world. Have you read that one now? I've seen that one. Uh, which one? From Gun X Sword. The manga. Uh, the anime. Um, I've heard of it, but never seen it. It's real good. Oh, it's concept is beautiful. So while this guy's taking his turn, I'll just briefly state what it is. It's like, uh, they're on a former prison world, and there's seven mechas that the pro former prison wardens used to use to get uh, to, you know, stop the populace. But it's been that long in the past that no one knows that that's what it was. So some people just have now have these seven super uber mechas and stuff. And it's like, it's got its own plot on that, but I think the world's really interesting. Doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I need to try to uh, get some text mechs in. By the way, the, the main character's mecha is called Dan of Thursday. Just because it's a cool name. Sometimes firewall, yes, I would love to see that. Where they just beat the crap out of the villain, no talking and trying to redeem them, just getting it done. I'd appreciate that.
think that happens a lot more with non-naive protagonists. I appreciate that, where they just hmm. don't mess around. God, I hate this deck so much. Yeah, you've done them for me well done, Nat. The, uh... The avatars from my next video. Out, yeah, it's the avatar guys from my next video. Mm. So we've got happy explaining bits. Uh, why are you so serious? Why is it so annoying? And casual, maybe? Oh, that's not all of them, by the way. Ah. Um. That's that's literally just a few. I appreciate it, though, sir. Thank you. Some stuff for my next video. Yeah, these are for the uh, siren video when I eventually make it. Currently, I have 22. I don't think I need a 22, but I do appreciate it. Know, well, it's because... I know. It's because what I've done is I've literally done every single one in multiple arm phases because I've literally just separated the body and the head. I'm just like, right, I've got like th six different bodies and then just like, I'll just do a different head. I haven't read it in of quite a while, Firewall, but from what I remember... It just become the avatar of the Shaman King for 500 years and then it just swaps. If I remember correctly. And then that person swaps in, gets a wish by the uh, Spirit King, and then they wield the Spirit King as their summon for, for 500 years or something. Sort of. I think that's right. I'll get there when I eventually make my uh, list video on it. Yeah, I think they do eventually become a part of it, but I think they're like conscious for 500 years or something, maybe. God, it's been that long, I just can't remember. It's one of the series I need to reread, not the next one though. That's Blue Exorcist I need to reread next. Why would you need to swap? I think it's. I'm not actually sure. Maybe the maybe the vessel gets worn out after 500 years and they have to swap. What is that? Uh, the sh how the Shaman King tournament works. Because they become they become the winner of the tournament to become uh, the Spirit King and have the uh, Spirit King as their ally. But why do they need to swap every 500 years and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I think it is uh, due to the need of replacement. I think so. Um, or is it because... For 500 years, they could become a tyrant, and then they have to get forcefully swapped out. So one person can't I, I always be evil. No, I don't. I don't think it's anything to do with being evil or not. Because I don't think the they can be evil. Um, as far as I'm aware, more hmm. of a um, either. Probably either that they've got to, they need them to, to just let them pass on, you know? Because they've been doing it for so long that they can just, you know, pass on to the other side or whatever happens to them. Or the, because it's a 
mortal fusing with them, the mortal part of them degrades over time. I'm reading the wiki and it doesn't even tell you. Reasons, Brad. Reasons. Lovely. Well done, wiki. I'll have to reread it then. Well, I'm going to have to get to reread it anyway, so it's not too bad. At least it has cool fights. I do like those. Right, I'm probably gonna go out here for today. So yeah, I'm only gonna be on for another half an hour anyway, so. Alright, do that. In a bit. <laughs> Oh, I'm off first. Under. Yeah, it, it wasn't explained at all. If we can't remember it and we're decent enough fans of it, I just can't remember it at all. Imperm. Okay. It was like you become a god and you get a wish granted because I was looking at on Netflix as well, Firewall. Shaman King's sequel is on Netflix next week for us. So I do need to watch that. Yeah, Shaman King Flowers, because uh, his son's called Hannah, which means flowers, or flower. I'll give it a watch, I haven't seen it yet. K.O. His, uh, his son with Iron Maiden Jean, yeah. Who I think has Mash as his spirit. Or does he have uh, bats on as well? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember at all. Because it was really weird when I went from watching the original show where he doesn't interact with Gene at all and never speaks at all. And then Unlike somehow you, has a kid with Gene off screen. It. It's really weird. Which is why I appreciate it in the newest one, where he does interact with her a lot. Luba the Boober of Duba. Eating him, Burma Luba. Get out of my game. Yeah, that's it. He gets uh, he gets uh, he gets mash and bass on. I mean, I've never really read much of flowers, so I'll I'll give it a go. Yeah, like I said, I think Blue Exorcist is the one I need to read next. I 
I got into watching the uh, anime again because season three's just come out. I do like Blue Exorcist. The anime is really it's a really hard watch though. I don't recommend it without a guide. Boys? Blue Exorcist. Mm. Well, season uh, season one is twenty four episodes. The first seventeen are canon. The last aren't. Uh, none of the movies are canon. Uh, some of season two isn't canon either. Yeah. And then all of season three is currently canon. It's a bit of a minefield. It's really interesting, though. Yeah, they asked some nice avatars. So what I basically did is I asked him to make some avatars for me to be on the left-hand screen, side of the screen, when I'm uh, doing my talking videos. So it's like my character is interacting with the footage. Like if something happens that annoys me, I can use my annoying character, my annoyed character. And I thought it'd be make it a bit more interactive. So I got him to make some cool um, things for me. Yeah, some parts of season two aren't canon because it's really stupid. Because they don't goofed. Not all, a lot of it is canon, but it's only like one or two bits that aren't. Like in season one, in the non canon bit, they break his sword. But the sword is part of his heart, so he would be dead. And then they have to repair his heart with an old nail that was from the past. I'm like, no. Don't break don't break his sword at all. Don't go breaking my heart. It's part of it. it it's literally his heart. You can't break it. It's stupid. I can, because they did. But they backtracked. I haven't watched that show, but I might. But I might get around to it. I'll just do main two. Go away, masquerade. Go away. Like season three of it, Blue Exorcist, for example, uh, is my favourite character's arc. And I really appreciate that. In a distant future, people colonise planets not by travelling back to them, but by sending ships that are human 3D printers. That, that sounds pretty interesting. I might give that a go. Yeah, but that brings into the debate that I always think of with that. Is it really you? Because some people believe that if it's just, if it has your memories and your experiences, then it is technically still you. He's a version of you. But it's not the original you. Because I also thought about this is why um, Wiseman's grandchild does not use teleport, innit? 
because he doesn't like the idea that, uh, well, is it me or isn't it me? So he makes it was just because he has more uh, knowledge of how Doraemon's door thing works from his manga. But I can't remember. Oh, no, he's literally, he did not want to use teleport. That's why he made warp. Because he was all about, is is it me? Because obviously it was all about the consciousness part, aspect of it. Which is, if I'm not mistaken, the philosophical debate that is going on. Mm. Mm. Don't worry, Firewall. You've, uh, you've sold me. What's it called? Oh, you can't get more CGI than um, mine and Nat's favourite CG horses. <clears throat> to be fair, uh, the uh, hidden boss level 99. Oh. CG dragon. It looked fine though. It looks alright. I'll, I'll give you that. It does not look as bad as others. It was have. fine. It was fine. But it is still blatantly obvious that it's CG. Yes. It really is. <laughs> we got. That is. Alright, that is an interesting art style. I was not expecting. Here you go, Nat. To clarify, this is what it looks like. I mean, I'll give it a go, at least for a good couple of episodes. I might even at some point do a review section on the channel, but that's that's down the line. I'm not I don't have time for that at the moment. Do you know what also had a very strange art style? Uh Black Summoner. You mean every do now and know, again we're just waiting to full CG for no reason? Do you know do you know what? Instead of doing this as a normal fight scene with actual animation. We're gonna go CGI on this anime on this. Not only not only for the full fight, just some parts. Yeah. And it looks really jank. Not the uh All right. is the best this. Hey, if you've recommended it to me, I'll give it a go. I think tomorrow I'm just going to do uh, as much Dual Masters as I can. See if I can finish it. But I don't want to be on too late. I might have one more game after this. What we got? Oh. I appreciate those. It was when they originally made in dub. Because then the people were like, you should always watch in its original language. And I'm like, I am. Go away. It's so fun. They get so annoyed. And if I haven't made my stance clear to potential viewers and to everyone here, dubs are fine. They are fine. Nothing wrong with dubs. I watch dubs a lot, considering my entire childhood I was watching them without realising it. There are bad dubs. There are good dubs. And even I can tell sometimes when I'm watching in Japanese dub that some of them suck. Can't tell as much because I'm not a native Japanese speaker, and I can't speak it. But they, it, uh, they make that many series. Some of them have to be bad. Yeah. If you want to watch it in the original but dub, I'll also that's say, fine. Sometimes you must watch it in the original dub. Yes. For the basic reason of it does not make sense in another language. Uh, like uh, Japanisms, you mean? Yeah. Uh, not even that, it's just like the way that the story is set out, like I will use one that I like, which is Beck, the Mongolian Chop Squad. That is about a Japanese band going around the world, so you'll basically have, you basically have in like the first couple of episodes, some English speaking people speaking English in that anime, and it's just like, and if once you put that into, uh, obviously it's bad English 
speaking, but you know, it makes more sense in the context of the actual thing. So you lose some context with that. Of course one. you do, yeah. And don't get started on the live action version of it. That was not great, no. Nope. You see this? We're going to be singing, but you know what we're going to do? We're not going to let the main character sing. Terrible. Why? Reasons. No, because he's meant to be. There singing has to that be bad Japanese good. voice acting. I, I get they want to re watch it like that. Well, I used to, but me and Nat, for example, now I don't know if anyone else does. We put a series on when we're doing other things. Like I could put it on my left screen, and so long as it's dubbed, I can still do other things and still understand that show without paying a hundred percent attention to it. And that's how sometimes I I uh, watch series. Very rare I'll do that, but I'll generally put some on to watch whilst I'm uh, eating on some. The gas star of the an insect cage. I haven't. If uh, if you do think of any serious stuff, I will just message me them, and I'll uh, give you my opinion on them next um, next Friday, which will be extreme. The next uh, stream on Friday will be opening the next set because it comes out on that Friday. And then I'll get into other things. Because I've ordered a nice chunk of that set to, uh, to open. Because there's quite a bit out of that set I could deal with. I haven't seen this one. Interesting. Let me get my up on my... Uh, Convenient series. Is it a movie or a series? Let's see. Oh. Yeah. The sleep fish. Oh, that's a show. Okay. Let me see if I can find it on my uh, convenient website. Agasta of the Insect Cage. Oh, God, that's that's some serious animation. Let's mm -hmm. put it that way. You just sent me this, by the way. Oh. I'll see if I can find it. C A G. Oh, I found it. Yes, twelve episodes. Okay, that's on my list. I'll give it a go. I'll watch at least one of these and I'll get back to you. If I got past this CG of the uh, make a religion in a different in another world anime, I should be able to get past this one. CG in random episodes for no reason. Yeah, Japan can't do CG. They really can't. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it a go. So I've got that one to watch and Exception. 
Let's see if I can find that on my website as well. E E. Yep, found it. Cool. Eight episodes. Oh, so it'll be a one season. Okay. I like how pure Lily just claps. At purely. He's adorable. Oh yeah, I've got Netflix. It just depends. I don't... I don't watch you when I'm on my computer, that's all. Netflix is when I'm just lying in bed on my PS5. Because I get too distracted watching... Uh, I get too distracted by uh, watching it if I'm playing on my, uh, you know, on my computer on Netflix. Which is why I record in my gaming room away from everything else to distract me. That's fine. I found them. We're okay. I don't think I've actually got a Netflix tab. I probably should get one. Always oh, Steam, what are you opened for? <clears throat> My game has just died. Interesting. Well, we'll have one more game because it's 200 gems. Okay, we'll ask the Nat as well. Nat, have you seen Black Bullet? Uh, Black Bullet sounds familiar, yes. I have. Um, remind me. Uh, main character has metal prosthetic and lives in a world where you have to fight demon things. But uh, he has to... Uh, his partner is a child per... Oh. Can it is of a certain species or something? It's really hard to explain. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Yeah, insects. Yeah, and his his arm is made out of a certain metal. God, it's real. So long since I've seen that show. From what I remember, his intro is really good, though. Like a nice, a nice banger. It's been a while. And Firewall, we are the people of. If you've seen a series, we've we've probably seen, we've probably seen it. Not with all the stuff, because there's the ones you recommended there that I haven't, but quite a lot of it. Yeah, I think this is another one where I know of it, but I don't think I've actually seen it. It's alright. Yeah. Definitely one of those. Alright, has anyone seen um, uh, Black God other than me? Anyone? No? Mm. Because the manga of Black God is amazing. Can't really say I've uh, seen it. The anime is garbage. The manga is amazing.
That was it, yeah. The the girls get have like uh, they're super strong, and I think they like die when they get a certain age, or are killed when they get to a certain age. So long. So long since I've seen it. Hmm. Can't say I've seen it. Yeah, Kurakami. A black god. The anime is garbage. The manga is beautiful. So nice. To be fair, that's mostly how it works out some of the time. Yeah, they're discriminated on because they're part insect in the black bullet, but they also need those girls to. Uh, to fight the creatures, don't they, or something? So they can't get rid of them because they are still needed. One of those loopholes, is it? Yeah. See that a lot in um. Mangas and stuff where it's like, oh, I'm the super powerful thing that people need to uh, help them survive whatever's happening. But these people are being absolute. Okay, yeah. Here's a thing to end on. In all this series where they have to destroy the Demon King, if they actually did defeat the Demon King, the human society would fall to an end, uh, would just stop. Because if their entire society is based around the parts of demons and fighting demons, if there are no demons, their economy will collapse immediately. Uh, there is something... Um, Which is why they won't try to kill all the demons. There is there is actually a um, manga that does actually ha do that. I forget what it's currently called, but there is one that does that. Um... What is it called again? I mean, it makes perfect sense. Basically, main bros literally best friends with like the demon. Because <laughs> the the world would collapse. Uh, Post apocalyptic series. Hmm. I'll have a think. I can't think of any immediately. I'll think of some, though. Post-apocalyptic. Hmm. What are you looking for now? I was asked for a post-apocalyptic series. I have a siren. If we're going for com if we're going for specifically manga, yes. It's a shame it doesn't have an anime, but if we're going for manga, siren, yeah. Yeah. But even for anime, it's like what post apocalyptic I mean, is there? There's Trigon. Trigon. Yeah, Trigon's good. I've not seen the new version of it, but I've seen the original, and the original was pretty good. I think the new one's better and more canon. Mm hmm. It's just his art style's a bit different. Um. Says, if you were, if you wanted to read a nice manga, Siren is beautiful. It is good. I didn't mind the ending. I know some people did though. They did the she did the best with what she could. I wasn't a massive fan myself. At least he got one. 
At least it got one. Uh, the basic synopsis is Guy is walking down the street and the phone rings and he answers the phone and is taken to the world of Siren for X number of time. And it counts down and then uh, he can only go there a certain number of times and he has to figure out what happens in that world and how it, how it became to that. It's just that when he gets to the world of Siren... Uh, just becoming in contact with that atmosphere gives him and anyone who's in that atmosphere psychic powers. And he has to, like, uh, figure out how to use his powers and things. It's really nice. I do recommend it. It's a shame it never got an anime, but it is good. I'm not trying to think of any more uh, post apocalyptic. Uh... It's a genre I don't watch or read much of. Or at least I don't remember reading or watching some. I will have done. I'll remember I'll, I'll remember them eventually. Let me just scroll that scroll down a list of uh shows here. Post apocalyptic. After looking at my shelf of stuff, I don't think I see any. Post Apoc Elliptic Anime Series. I know there is some. I've seen some. Can't remember any. Wow, they think uh, uh, Attack on Titan is classed as a post-apocalyptic series. Mm. It's really not. The Trigun's pretty good. How about Vivi? Yeah, Viv Vivi's all right. Okay, so I've typed it in, and I've got uh, the end of Evangelion. Have I closed the stream somehow? No. No. no, no. It's the one. I have really started watching Witch again, yes. I'm on episode... 40 or so, because there's 50 episodes. There's apparently one called In the Aftermath. <laughs> Technically, Doctor Stone is a post-apocalyptic as well. Yes, it is. Um, this is post-apocalyptic, technically. Vivi, I really do like the show. If you haven't seen it, Godzilla the Planet Eater. Yes, that is Planet also post Uh
I will plug my favourite show. The 86 is also post-apocalyptic. Made in abyss. Made in abyss. If you want to traumatise him, yeah? Yes, the 86 is a mecha show as well. So good. We've given you some nice recommendations. Doon Wagon. He's apparently, uh, apparently one. Slow. I mean, I've finished the event. I'm just plowing through a couple more games. This will probably be the last game of today. Because I want to get up early enough to do some more Duel Masters tomorrow since I've fixed it. i fixed the audio glitches. So if you, do wa if you did watch them, they are a bit audio choppy. -y. Yeah, they did. They did put Attack on Titan in post-apocalyptic, yeah. Even though it's technically not. Needless. He is not watching Needless, he has a soul. What's wrong with Needless? <laughs> He's so stupid. His powers are really cool, but... It it's not a series for everybody, I'll put it that way. I, I enjoyed it. Okay, so every lo every duel I'll show you my match history by the way every one of these losses is to fusion and only fusion and it's the only it's the same deck it's either tier hey, you won one or fusion. Uh, illusion See, you, you, you won against the fusion there. And there. You won twice. Our favourite witch girl in which? Um, Irma is the best girl. Water girl. And yes, Super Polly is stupid. Cybuster. Cybuster. Yes. I'm not through a list. No, no. She's second best girl for me, Firewall. I like how um, I usually always go for that character, you know, the snobby, arrogant one who has lots of time to grow into a better person. I just prefer Irma in that show. For some reason, Earth in which also account uh, is also plants. It's fine. No, Cornelia was fine. Right, so I can stream for an extra half an hour, but I'll need to nip out for five minutes to get food. Elemental Glade, technically, uh, post apocalyptic. No. I wouldn't say so. Still a good one. Right, let, let me put on. Ergo Proxy. Ergo Proxy. Let me put on a dual live and I'll be back in five minutes. Chat and see if you can think of any more now, and I will as well. They're thinking. I'm just looking at all this right.
This to the North Star. Zoids Wild Zero. I think it is. Okay. We're back. Welcome back. Has anyone said Gurren Lagan yet? Uh, yeah, I mentioned it. Oh, there we go. Good. That's a good one. Yeah, there's also Zoids, apparently. Ooh. Zoids. That's a good yep. series. I, I really recommend Zoids. If you want to suffer, you can also watch World End, but you will suffer. Uh, Knights of Sidonia is on Netflix, that's technically post-apocalyptic. Which blood? Is he? Apparently, apparently according to this list. Wolf's Reign is, but which blade's not? Hmm. I'd have never said that was under the category. Huh. One definition of uh, what you class as apocalyptic. That's interesting, I would have never thought which blade would be classed as that. Apparently so. Nah, I, I don't see it. I don't think, I'm not seeing much of uh, which blade, so I don't really... Yeah, don't watch it. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry, I know All right, about now, How about this? Chrome Shelled Regios. Yep. 
God, that's obscure, even for me. Even though I pronounce that different, apparently. Don't know why. I obviously pronounce it incorrectly, probably. Okay. Heroic Age. Ooh. Anyone else in Heroic Age? Uh, there was Skywood Academy. Oh, Sky Wizards Academy, sorry. Yeah, that was fine. Which did come up with uh, red, uh, the Grom Shield, Shield uh, yeah. Regius. Your own okay, has, has Belgross, which is it was an absolutely absurd boy. He appears that in episode one and jumps from the planet into space to beat the crap out of the enemies. Of course, I'd call by. What else we got here? Yep, Black Bullet is on there. Fist of the North Star. If you can be bothered to watch it, because it's really jank. His remakes aren't great. There's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, some real nice shows. I just, I'm looking at that list. I've seen a lot of these, but I never. I just completely forgot about them. Mm, you generally tend to until you see it again, or your brain just remind, randomly says, "Do you remember when you watched this?" Here you go. Oh, I'm thinking about that show now. Really don't mind what, watching that show or reading that manga or whatever it is, and then you're like, what was it called again? And then you just can't remember. You are right, though. This list does have Witchblade on it, and I don't get it. It's a, it's a mystery, obviously. There's loads of these I haven't even seen. That's because there's a lot being created. We don't have time for it all. What do we think of introducing a Yu-Gi-Oh deck? Or a term cannot be activated during the first turn of the duel? Hmm. Would that work? And technically, we'll see the reason why it won't work. Just depends on what kind of effects you would uh, be applying this to. It'd be like huge blowout cards or ridiculous stuff, I'd assume. No, so essentially you sound like Pog Greed or something. Yeah. Because it, you need methods to weaken going first. Right, I get, I get, I get what you mean. The irony is, is that technically that effect would still work on the second turn because it's no longer the first turn. For Baron anyway. It's fine, she's banned. She's banned anyway. I get what you mean. Um, they could use it on like instant win condition. 
condition cards so then people can't just yeah you know, i mean pokemon did because they've they've added a rule of you can't use supporters during your first turn I mean, it's not the biggest. To be fair, that's, issue. yeah, th thinking about Pokemon, then, it's not going to be like a major concern. It can be, because if you're drawing seven cards in your first turn. I mean, for games that have costs, it's usually fine. Just for Yu Gi Oh!, it can be really, really sacky. We don't need Maxi anymore. We've got new fish Maxi, which is better. Because it's balanced. Again, I don't think the uh, it would really matter with Maxi whether or not it's the first turn of the duel. I mean, it's going to be really fast, I suppose. But how long does the meta game take? How many turns? But it depends what your class has the first turn. Is it your first turn or the actual first turn? Because, for example, if you're going second against a player, you can't max see them either because it is still the first turn. That's yeah, true. Technically, yeah, because technically, so yeah, it's still the first turn, so you can't yeah, interact with them on their turn. So you'd have to that. word it slightly differently. Unless that's how you want it to be worded. Because you'd have to state it: uh, the player going first can't do this. If you know what I mean. The first instant you could chain Maxi to something when it counts the first turn. Hmm. I don't know about that one. I think the, the best solution for Max C is that instead of erratering it, just not have it. Just nope it out of the game. I mean, how could you even errater it? Oh, there's loads of ways you could errater it. Like, only draw X number with its effect. Uh, all cards drawn are well, sent to the graveyard during the end of the net of that turn. But... I think it doesn't really matter about how many you draw with it, it's just the fact that they can just draw with it. Oh. No, Maxi, you, you can't balance Maxi and it be still playable. I don't think it works at all, Maxi. It used to be fine when there was not a lot of special summoning, but for them to make another card in the game that they just released now, which literal effect is the same, but more balanced. Because they just made that fish, didn't they? And that is basically the same as Maxi. Yeah. From what then? Now it's been errated, a lot of people are like, it's highly likely 
that it's going to get some sort of hit now. Yeah. And I could see it. I really could. Because then the problem with the... Like, I think Praying's brought it up before. A lot of the problems with deck building now is you have to run the same seven cards just because of Maxi. All decks start off with Triple Ash, Double uh, Call by the Grave, and a Call by... Uh, and a Cross Out just for the whole purpose of negating Maxi. Like a lot of effort. It's a hell of a lot of effort. The Max. Okay. Comic. The Max. In nineteen ninety three. It's almost older than me. Almost. I found it. How's it going, my good sir? How are you? I am doing okay, sort of. Xyz is not going well for me. I've just nothing but super poly all day. <laughs> but I'm getting there. Welcome to stream and chill, which is just talk about whatever you like. I think we're currently on comic books again. Pretty much. We haven't gone into it nostalgia yet. That's something we try not to go into anymore. We get there. Because I think uh, next week's stream will be opening the next set, because I've ordered a case. So I'll do that. So we've got Abyss. You can target one card your opponent and negate its effects. Uh, yeah? Apparently, I need to stream hit the stream title, Brad. What am I changing it to, though? That's a good question. <laughs> what is the name? What's the main that I play in this? Uh, I'll show you my decks, actually. I, I like swapping over quite often. But I I'll show you. I, ma I mainly use Xyz myself. I'll be back. Let's see. So I'm usually playing I'm playing Fishers right now. I've got Mekanko. I the main deck I usually play is Goldfly Punk right now. And uh, wherever I can find it. I play Trap Tricks a lot as well. I'm fairly decent with this. That's a fairly decent deck. I've I play Sword Soul quite often. Got quite well with Sword Soul. And uh, the one I'm probably the best with. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah. Wherever it is. I just saw it a second ago. Yeah, Pride Punk's my best one. But then I'll play Galaxy because I play this in real life because it's my favourite deck. It doesn't win very often, but it is there. There's an OTK deck. This is the one I'm going to be metering with. 
and getting as far as I can, and that's branded Chimera. Ooh. Oh, Dynamorphia Lab. I did, bro. I really did want to play Dynamorphia. But 80% of that deck are URs, and I couldn't afford them. Galaxy IRL is absolutely nothing. Actually, let me have a quick check. I'll load up an eBay tab. Yu-Gi-Oh! Galaxy Core. Core of Galaxy. Like, like, wow. Pennies. Like, even the main extra deck bits you'd need. Absolutely nothing. And then some person put this at the top. That is not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a £150 car. Thank you. Should have put it in uh, lowest to highest. Yeah, I should have done. <laughs> oh, it's vastly expensive. You know, just getting the URs for... I really do like Dynamorphia, though. Like, I have built that in real life because they're all basically commons. It's really nice. I appreciate that, sir. That is a good deck. How much did I spend on my Galaxy deck? Well, mine's more max rarity in real life, so... Maybe about 100 quid, maybe? Because a lot of the cards I've gone down now, like uh, Photon Lord, used to be 40 each, and now they're not. It's quite nice, actually. It's gone down. See, this is my uh, N and R deck. It's terrible. But I couldn't think of anything else. Because I can just take these out and it becomes an NR deck. <laughs> what else have we got? Have we got a deck pure made of ends? No. Nemleria, banished deck. Too expensive, I can't finish that either. Uh, I'm fairly competent with weather painters. Fine with them. But that is mainly skill drain and dimensional fissure turbo. And D shifter, because if you get those, you basically win. Uh, I have this. I just can't combo worth to save my life. Synchros, I, I just can't. Isn't it crazy how. Cards can be disgustingly shiny with alternate arts and be worth pennies. I yes. Pokemon is the only game where I can buy a, a, a box, which are now £130 each, by the way, double Yu-Gi-Oh boxes, and get the equivalent of £15 in value. Opening the box of sealed product will lose 100 quid of its value. I've never seen a game so... Wow. He's a bit of a money sink. Yes. Yes, Dynamorphia with a lab can become incredibly toxic, mate. It really can. <laughs> and yes, Firewall, I agree with that too. I really did enjoy lab until they made the new support and made it insufferable. Like, it's not so much like ruining a person's day, because it does. It still takes ages to win, because they're all mandatory effects. I still have mine. You know, max rarity from when I used to play them. Because I did enjoy playing Lab at first. But, that, but since Lab has just now gone into... Recycle D fissure or crush cat or the viruses. It's a bit not my kind of thing. I'm not saying no one should play it. People play what they play. <laughs> See, I'm going to say something vaguely controversial, right? I don't like, I like how trap tricks play, but I think if they were not waifus, the deck would be better. Because it gets a lot of negative rap for being a waifu deck. 
And if they'd have just made it into like grotesque beasts, I would still play it and I would still love it. And we're against Black Wings. With Raigeki Duster. Okay. All right, what deck was I making recently? While well, this guy's taking his highly elaborate turn. Hey, you, you draw your two cards, sir, it's fine. Let's see, what was I building? Right, I was, by, I was uh, building Drytron. Real life Drytron. Yeah, that's the problem. I really like Trap Tricks. The problem is, they look like Trap Tricks. And if they didn't, the deck would get a lot less stick. Because my actual favourite deck of all time is Medolce. But because they are little people based on kicks, they don't look very cool. Oh, Ferret Flames is such a good card. I played um, Intruder in mine. What's that card called? Let me see if I can remember what it's called. It was a really, it was a, it was a specific trap. What to do? It's got Evil Eye on it, but I can't remember what it's called. I'll find it. Don't worry. By find it, I mean look up my convenient Dynamorphia video. Because <laughs> it's on there. Imprudent Intrusion. That's what I used to play. Imprudent. Intrusion. Yeah, this guy's going to be taking his turn for a while. Yeah, I, I played this in mine. Your life points must be lower than your opponent's. You get to destroy one monster they control that's less than the difference in your life. Or special someone from your grave with attack uh, less than the, the difference. So you just bring stuff back. It's not the best tech. But it was a nice little one-off that I like to play. I thought it was fine. A lot of cards are searchable in uh, that deck anyway. I don't know, Trap Tricks doesn't really have a lot of support, to be fair. They've only got like three decent Trap Hall cards, which is a shame. Uh, didn't Trap Tricks only get the starter deck because we voted for it? I forget. Thanks. Uh, no, I think it was Chalmers on it. Or yeah. We also won for Trap Tricks. And Sentient Trees at uh, Sylvans? <laughs> no. Only I play Sylvans and they are terrible. I used to. I won. So if I haven't showed you already, this is the current deck that I'm playing. Which is Exeeth Shark. With the with the rank up armor cards. So you're going to full Night Lancer. Because you can go Bahamut Shark into the three, into the five. Remove two materials to get this one, which will numb your opponent's card, and this one to equip it with something, and then go straight into the seven to destroy your opponent's cards. And Stealth Kragen, because it's just Stealth Kragen, is an incredibly good boy. Oh, 
I didn't get any more missions. It's fine. We get in there. Very slowly. So you're playing uh, Dynamorphia in this event, so you're the fusion event. Alright, I first a lot of fusion players today. An absolute load of them. What we got? Earth's Arctic. It's an interesting deck, Earth's Arctic. Because you can play stuff like a Battle Tune, which is banish a tuner from your graveyard to give a card on the field an attack equal to its attack. And so you can just give it 2800 attack for free. There's quite a lot of stuff you can play in Earth's Arctic. The only problem Earth's Arctic has is it's fusion. No, it's synchros don't synchro summon, so you can't bring them back. That is true. That's the only problem it currently has. Bloodgate Tribal. So. What I just made in real life, by the way, is, um... Because I, I'm a filthy degenerate scrub. I play King Tiger 1 Hue Control. Because if you weaken them, uh, you've got cards like Burden of the Mighty. Even if they're at 2k and they hit the field below the uh, 14, they just instantly die. And King Tiger just wipes them out completely. <laughs> I've got to say that I built Earth's Arctic for one of my friends, and it is pretty fun. You can play some cool things. It doesn't have a lot, a huge amount of normal summons. So you're relying a lot on your field spell and... Uh, I think I put Lefty and Righty Driver in there. Goblin Rider. I'm, I myself am waiting for Raid Raptor support. That's what I want. I'm also waiting for the uh, Ban of Baron in Master Duel. I'm waiting for that too. No, Nib's fine. If anything, Apo should have been hit too. <laughs> yeah, I want Raid Raptors so I can just make some really big towers monsters and just sit there annoying people. I mean, Savage was a problem. And... I think that Baron's going to get errated and brought back at some point in the future. I mean, Apo's not too bad. You've just got to weaken it and punch over it, but it can screw your entire game. According to everybody who's ever been in this chat, I can't talk about floodgates because I used to play um Fruit Rico at full power, therefore my opinion doesn't count.
you know, I built um, Destiny Heroes recently, and it depresses me that the only search they have for main monsters is Stratos and D-Heroes don't have one. I do think decks would be more interesting, though, if they had um, different extra deck bosses than the generic ones. Because I think the format in real life is more skillful now without Baron and uh, Savage. That's just me, though. Yeah, Despia now is like... Less Despia, more everything else. I totally understand. It's like I, um, the Tempai Dragons in real life that are coming out in the next, next set next week. I really wanted to play those. And then I realised it can inflict 30k damage per turn. I'm like, I kind of don't want to play them anymore. Oh yeah, DP is dumb. Fusion Destiny being teched into other decks should not be a thing. It should be exclusive to the deck it's supposed to be in. Right, I'm only in a thousand, that's not great. I could go into Zeus. No. I get that it does sort of weaken those decks, but if a deck has the power to get a, f a former Apple on the field, Surely it can make something better than Apple. Like, uh, Baron's entire existence negates the existence of all, you know what I mean, like, uh, future level 10s. Yeah. If Baron is your only uh, method to playing the game, that's, I don't think that's great. They should, I think they are slowly getting away from generic extra deck bots, monsters, though.
she shall. Do I care about she shall? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, they are hitting all the generic staples, but the problem is they do make weaker decks stronger, but they only make the strongest decks stronger. So unless they state these strong decks aren't allowed to play these cards or make them in such a way where they can't play them, but weaker decks can. Son of a bitch. He's just going to burn me for 12, isn't he? Uh, yep. And this doesn't even help me. He's just going to burn me for 12. Yes. Yes, sir. I also hate Sword Soul. I, I liked Sword Soul before they gave everybody Sword Soul. But now that's... All I'm seeing in this entire event is either Sword Soul or Illusion Chimera and nothing else. Yeah, there you go, inflict your 12, yeah, they're gone. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I hate Sword Soul. We're even worse in real life now that uh, they unbanned the big boy. Because they're vastly expensive now for no reason. And now they've introduced the uh, illusions to this game, it's made it even worse because they're indestructible by a battle. So it's going to make stun decks even more powerful because they can sit there unless they've got something that specifically destroys it. It's going to be right pain. Uh, like this going first hand. That is. That is not a good first hand. I'm going to have to go lifeless first. If he'd have ashed that, I would have immediately lost. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really played a stun deck. I've been trying to make some. But I've never really played them. So then we'll foolish a copy of right hand shark. So if he does wipe my field, I can use right hand to make some sort of play. I don't think we've ever played Dragodia, but we have played Battle Fader, Gauze, and Swift Scarecrow. In one game. I don't. Like, I do agree. They should unban Dragoon. It will do absolutely nothing to this game. The only decks that I'd play it are probably potentially Red Eyes, because, well, I suppose uh, any uh, branded deck can play it. No, Dragoon doesn't do anything. But you can play it in any branded deck with Light Exile Fusion, if you wanted. And yeah, I do like my uh, the Ash. I got two in like my first 20 pulls. And then it took like an extra 60. Like it took me the entirety of this entire pack of grinding to get my last one. No. That Dragoon would do absolutely nothing to the meta right now. Do I care about one for one? What did he send? He's playing fish. Yes. I'm not giving you access to the fish. No. Dragoon and Barret. Uh, uh, Dragoon's fine. Because people uh, then made DPE because he was better. Because, I mean, he's technically not as good as Dragoon. But his materials are less bricky. 
and Red Eyes Fusion is garbage. Fusion Destiny is so much better than Red Eyes Fusion, it's unbelievable. It's not, it's not even a joke how, how different they are. Like Red Eyes Fusion, that's the only thing you can do that turn. It's so stupid. Vela. Is he playing Goaty? Or is he playing one for one specifically to draw Vela? I'm sure you'll find it. I mean, that is also possible. He could be doing that. We're going to Bahamut Shark. Yeah, Dragoon's completely irrelevant. It'd mean a person had have to play Dark Magician. And they can't even play it very well in Dark Magician. Because the um, Eye of Tamias is unsearchable. Which is an absolute stupid... I can't believe Konami made the Eye of Tamias unsearchable. That's 7,000 damage. That's probably enough. Yeah, 7k damage is fine. Oh, he's got Nib. Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, I suppose Monster Tamias is searchable, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot, I forgot Monster Tamias was even a card. Because they keep giving it absolutely crap tons of support, but it never does anything. You can, you can just play um, only with light because Albion can. Uh, Albion need, and is a dragon, which you can build something with Dragoon. It won't have its destruction effects, but you can still get it using like a Albion and light Exile fusion. It's just not the ideal way. You'd rather just do, you know, branded combos. Yeah, the search for a power bond is terrible. I'll give you that. It is absolutely terrible. Like, yeah, I'd, honestly, I can't see a single person playing it if it came out. I mean, I'd probably play it just to be, just to be dumb, and just to say I did. But I can't say it's going to be the most powerful of all my combos or any of my decks. Uh, Stealth Kraken again. Like, I don't even know what this guy's playing. Is it just Hand Traps Turbo? Attack with Stealth Kraken. Assault Mode? Why? Okay, Assault Mode. Sure. Did your opponent answer, figure out how to defeat with the uh, hit nib token? No, I just punched him for 7k with it. <laughs> e telly, yep, he is playing assault mode. Yeah, bro, you summon all your cards. Oh yeah, Brand of Fusion is really vulnerable. People are putting uh, Chimera in it now to make it a bit more powerful, but it's still not as powerful as it used to be. 
and how to how do I uh, out that nib token shirt? I am making um, a Star Dragon plushie for my game, which is going to be a dice bag. Yeah, branded fusion is just the best way to instantly hit it. That's what everyone saves Ash Blossom for, or any of their negates. Will it dodge? Let's test. Will it dodge? No, it didn't. That's game. I'll, I'll tell you something, though. Since this event's been on, I haven't seen a single Blue Eyes or Dark Magician player. They are technically an Xyz deck and a Fusion deck, and I haven't seen one. Run a fusion reach your opponent discards one Ash Blossom. Yeah, it basically does. I, I can't believe that they made that. Which is also really dumb, if you just think about it. Like, Red Eyes Fusion was made in the same year as Shadow Fusion. And Red Eyes Fusion is garbage. And I've played Red Eyes because I used to play a Bisteel Red Eyes. You know, because Bisteel's level 6. And you can use them for Meteor Dragon with Red Eyes for burn damage. It wasn't a good deck, but it did play. More so because the Bist deals were powerful than Red Eyes was good. Level 1 tuner is a cat. Yeah. Assault mode. I, I wasn't expecting to versus assault mode today. Cash Scareclaw is nice. I haven't found uh, a Link deck that resonates with me yet. There we go. That's the Fright First. That's the uh, Illusion Structure deck. This is going to be fun. And Crusadia is fine. It's just really easy to stop. Because on its own, without like the kaijus to punch your opponent with, it's not great. I used to play um, Marincess, but that was just a towers turbo, and your opponent's got kaijus. Tri Brigade Scareclaw. That would work. They are beast warriors. TG Synchro deck. Interesting. I've never played TG. I mean, Rocket Salamander just came out, and that's pretty good. And now we're versing against Illusions. That can quick effect banish itself from the grave to reborn a card. That is mildly inconvenient. But if I can get this uh, board set up, I should be fine. Alright, so he's ashed that. Inconvenient, but not impossible. Because I can still go into Stealth Kragen. And we use Burial. Send a copy of Right Shark. In case he gets rid of my card. And then I'll just pop this. Call it there. 
I mean, I could go into Zeus, but there's no point going into Zeus. Supreme King package, yes. If your opponent activates a spell, just summon four guys. Why four? Dunno, just do. It is nice. Now the Supreme King Synchro Monster comes out in the next set as well. Supreme King Zark Synchro Universe. I might I might build something with that. Oh, if Scareclaw and Tri Brigade resonated with me. Tri Brigade didn't, but what I did play was Tri Brigade Fur Hire, and that was fine. Hmm. I never really played much Scareclaw. Because uh, partially because when Scareclaw came out, it was part of the Albaz law. Not Albaz, um, Vice of Starfrost, and it was vast money for no reason. Ash. That does not help me. Dynamorph here is a nice fusion deck. I'm more ancient gear myself. Because I just like punching them with big things. And the new ancient gear support comes out. So that's going to be fun. Right, do I want to go into... Hmm... No, I'll just set Shith Anna. Pass. Rainbow Neos. Just run Rainbow Fusion in. No, uh, Neos Fusion in any uh, Crystal Beast deck. Just summon Rainbow Neos for free. Beautiful. Uh, going first, you can play with Ancient Gears because you can set up cards like uh, your Ballista. The only problem is, if you play Ancient Gear Wyvern, he says if you use his effect, you can't set cards for the rest of the turn. So you need to get all your cards sorted first. So you've got stuff like uh, Clockwork Knight. And you can play any of the Earth Toolbox. And you've got Therion King Regulus, so it's not too bad. Because you, know, you can go two level fours into Spring Guns Merrymaker. Into, Sa into Captain Sargas to get your Therion King. There are methods, it's just not a very good deck going first. Yeah, how it's a pass. Yeah, it has a couple of players, just not many. Because you can also brick on uh, Ancient Gear Golem. Because for some reason it can't be brought back from the graveyard because Konami hates me. Paleozoic is doing really well right now. You know, because uh, one of the top Yu-Gi-Oh players in the world is playing Paleo. Because he'd rather play that than the current format. But yeah, I agree. The current format is miserable. It sucks. God's sake, he's still going. Arc Rebellion's pretty good. I think I played either Arc Rebellion or a Supreme King version. You know, Super... Yeah. It'd be nice if you could go for Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, because then you can go into Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord, which is just a 3k attacker that attacks three times. He's pretty nice. I play him in a couple of my jank decks. That 
being Arm Dragon Thunder, by the way. And if you are going to play Jank, you might as well. Uh, Synchro. I mean, Crystal Clear Wing's fine. It's just not very good. I mean, you can always summon them for a Link Fodder or something. You just need to punch your opponent in a uh, Dynamorph here anyway. The fact that that is not once per turn as a quick play is absolutely stupid. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna call it quit save, Brad. Oh. You're gonna call it quits. I'll, I'll at least last until after this game. But I'll see you later, good sir. Thank you for the um, images that I need to add to my next videos. You're welcome. I mean, you still Thanks, said uh, you've got like another 20, but there we go. <laughs> Nightmare Magician's going to steal my card and he, he's going to win. Really? Yeah. Because annoyingly, that destroys waters, which all my cards are. So even if he didn't kill me, he just popped my card immediately. <laughs> oh, insufferable. Yeah. Huh? Please let us in a bit, sir. And I'm by myself again. <laughs> well, I'll have at least one more game, and that'll be fine. Yeah, Exes is not doing well for me. But I got to 1800 in one day. That's something. I can't say that's great. Where does Knights Arc Rebellion? I'm just thinking, is there any locks? Sometimes when I played Raiders the night before, I got locked out of summoning him. But I can't remember what locked me out. Because he is a dark. Was it a fiend lock? Because I don't think he's a fiend, I think he's a warrior. It's been a while, I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think the voice. I'm actually wearing headphones today, so you are technically the voices in my head. Yes. Losing my damn mind. Uh, Lantern Shark. Lantern Shark will summon a Lifeless Leaf Fish. Lifeless Leaf Fish will send Right Shark. Silent Angler will summon itself. So now I have four monsters. So we'll go into a Stealth Kraken. And we'll go into a Stealth Kraken. We'll pass. I am liking this deck, even though I did have to spend a lot of UR to upgrade it to the armor set. I think it is running a lot better than it ever has. Either that or all my opponents suck. Evenly matched. Who's playing evenly matched right now? Virtual world. That is a synchro deck, sure. Ah, so that's the that's the build that you went for in your Dynamorphia one. Cool. You attack all your opponent's monsters with Arc Rebellion. Nice. I can't remember ever going for that in my build. Mine was just punch with Rex turn because he just negates all the things. 
I think Dynamorphia is missing a couple of cards that would make it a bit better. Like, if he had at least one more normal summonable monster. But I suppose level 4 Dinosaur is incredibly easy to search. Yeah, I'll pop that. Get out of my game. Don't do something stupid like destroy this with Coral Dragon. That will not end well for you. I do need to rebuild Dynamorphia because I dis did dismantle it after a while. Have I got my deck bag with me? Yeah. Let's play the game of what is Brad currently playing? What have I got in my deck bag while this guy's taking his turn? Uh, Galaxy Eyes. Trap Tricks. Volcanic. Because I didn't want to play Snake Eye. Destiny Heroes. Uh, Speedroid. Arm Dragon Thunder. Magispectors and Tistina, I think, are the ones I'm currently playing. Oh, it's still going. Yep, Constellas. I do play those too. And yes, it, the for anyone watching, it is 43 card Volcanic because you can take the three copies of Bonfire out if you want to. I just have them because I got them in a in my uh in my case. Oh no, I bought four boxes. Yeah, I got three and four boxes. And I'm off be a lab. Uh, Labyrinth just got reprinted in the Mega Tin, so they are cheap, so I should have them. Could give that a go, yeah? I'll give that a C. Uh, how did he get Shisha? What worm is he playing for Shisha? Oh, he plays a copy of Tyre. Interesting. That is an interesting build. I haven't seen this one. Uh, Three Houses currently is my longest epi uh, series, yes. What is it, 169 episodes? I mean, that'll be longer when I get to my uh, other, ga other games, anyway. I have dismantled Amazon S, but I've still got them all lying around because someone posted a comment they want to see me upgrade it. Oh, of course, I need to get all the troll. Overroot's really good. Why did this guy end? He could have easily won. Alright, my life points are lo his life points are higher uh, lower than mine. I can't just use that, so uh, I'll do it for now. 
Um, I'm going to show you this convenient image firewall and you will know exactly what I'm going to be playing. So yes, I am playing the Shaman King game. It's there. With Capsule Monsters, Medabots, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jade Cocoon for the PS1. And it is! Shaman King Power Spirit. There you go. I've got that ready. Hehehehe. <laughs> Yeah, you, you don't really need to play Maxi in um, in Dynamorphia, there's no point. Unless you randomly can't find your uh, Dino Lady. But you've got enough search for that and you don't want to be playing any more URs. There's absolutely crap tons of them. <laughs> God, it's still going. Yeah, so that is a list of all the games I'm currently going to be playing. Digimon Rumble Arena 2. I'll get round to them eventually. Oh, is um, Final Fantasy 7 PS5 exclusive? I can't remember. It's a good game, though. You'd think I wouldn't have a functional PS2 either, considering mine keeps making the audio not work. But I do have one. It's sort of recorded my uh, episodes of Duel Masters, which will be coming out soon, but we'll get there. The hell, I, I've never played Hell Divers because it's I'm not really I don't really have time to play a lot of uh, multiplayer games. Just a shame. I would like to play more multiplayer games. Right, one more. This is going to be the last game of Exes. And I'll have to call it because I think. Uh, oh, it's up to five hours now? Thank you for the sub, good sir. I appreciate it. We stream every Friday at this time. Well, it's technically Saturday now. But if you wanted to chat, come and chat about random things. I think we've gone from. Comics, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, power systems, uh, creating characters with animal powers. We just chat about whatever on these streams. Desires. Splendid. Is he playing Sword Soul? He is playing Sword Soul. Lovely. Like, I, I myself really wanted to like the Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I never played the original because I didn't have a PS1 when it first came out. And I keep thinking to myself, if I played the original, I don't think I'd like it and it wouldn't live up to the hype that everyone's got for it. If you know what I mean. Like, I've watched the Advent Children movie and stuff. I know there's plot and everything that happens. I don't know if... Like, I am starting to play PS1 games again for the channel, but I don't know if that's one I'd play unless someone randomly asks me to play it and then I'll have to play it. <laughs> it lives up to the hype. Okay. How much is Final Fantasy VII on eBay? Final Fantasy VII PS1. I mean... I don't need a manual to play. 
It is cheap. I could play it. Maybe. If I do, though, I'll have to leave it for the um, long RPG slot because it's going to take ages to finish. Dragite, Grandmaster, um, uh, Baron, and what is most likely... Uh, something ridiculous. Okay. What's the best normal summon? Uh, right shark. <laughs> well, I do put uh, polls up when I'm starting new games, and if they are chosen, I will play them. What's my latest poll? Let me have a see. So if I go on to me, view my channel, polls, So what we got? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Metabots, and then Capsule Monsters, after Duel Masters. And then I'll make another poll, and if Final Fantasy VII uh, tops that poll, that is something I will play. <laughs> it has to be a game that I can get. That was not the best order I should have done. He still has one negate left. Bro, I've almost platinumed Power Wash Simulator. I used to play it while um, I was editing my videos. It's so cool. It is such an underrated game. It's so chill. The only thing I've got left to do is the uh, gold star trophies. I do have a GameCube. It's what I played... Um, Pokemon Coliseum on. Before it didn't work because the cables are stupid. And then I played it on my Nintendo Wii which plays GameCube games. Yeah, so long as they're not vastly expensive games, you can request me to play anything. Eternal Darkness. I think you mentioned Eternal Darkness at some point, I just don't think I have it yet. As long as it's not vast money, I can have a go. Eternal Darkness... Oh no. Gamecube, innit? It's £20-ish. That's not too bad. I wanted to get into uh, City Skylines, but that's even more confusing. If I can get a copy of it at the next um, Games Fair thing, I'll give it a go. Because those are the current games I've got on my wall. Uh, my next long game is Grandia 2 for the Dreamcast. But I'll be playing the um, PC port because I don't have a Dreamcast that works, unfortunately. Next, I think I'm going to be playing... Uh... Where is it? Yeah. 
I can play gra this, the Grandia 2 HD remaster. And then I've got some random games to play. I've got Dark Deity. Considering I kickstarted this game, I really should play it. I'll get there, though. Yeah, but I think the character interaction is what makes Sims more bearable than City Skylines. You know what? We're still chatting. Let's have another game. It's not like I've got anything else to do tomorrow when I get up anyway. I'll just be uh, playing Door Masters all day because I need to get my backlog better. Cool, that, that does sound pretty fun. Yeah, because I think, what, we're here. My next... Uh, I've got recorded up till the 3rd of June. So we are getting there slowly. I, Dante's Inferno is on my list. I just don't have it yet. Because I couldn't find it at the um, games fair. Dante's Inferno. Um, what was the other one? Eternal Darkness. Uh, and potentially Final Fantasy Seven, maybe. I think WoW is more... Like, getting into WoW now is something I probably wouldn't do because of how big it is. Like, I ha I play League every now and again, but if I had to start League now, it'd be way too big of a game for me to get my head around. <laughs> WoW is life. It's also, uh, I don't have the community to play WoW, really and time to play it, but if I did, I'd, I'd, I think I'd, I'd be alright with it. I think, one of, I think one of my friends plays Guild Wars more, but we are slowly uh, getting into these games. I think that's what we were going to be playing um, Divinity Original Sin, wasn't it? Yeah, we were going to be doing some uh, Divinity Original Sin co-op at some point. That's sort of like WoW. Sort of. We've got some Borderlands co-op to do. We've got we've got some random bits. Oh, and you play healer. Nice. That's one of the hardest ones to play from what I remember. I used to have some people in college who used to play it a lot and they used to explain aspects of WoW to me. And Mage... I think Healer was not played as much. Dota 2. Uh, Praying, who's not on right now, uh, plays League way more than he should be playing League. Like, I've hired him to draw artwork for me. Which, he, if he did that, he'd be making money to play on card games instead of playing a uh, league. Mist Weaver Monk. Ooh. I don't know much about WoW, but I, I'll... Now you mentioned that particular class, I'll do some research for next time. Metin 2? No. I've never heard of that. Interesting. Oh, this guy's still doing his turn. Can I beat a TL limit board? I don't think I can. I can try, though.
Counter Strike San Andreas. I think I think I only had when I was growing up a GameCube. I didn't have a PS2. That's why I'm doing the uh, nostalgia series to play all the PS2 games I missed, which is a shame because I'd have loved games like um, Legend of the Dragoon and those kind of games. All right. So let's see if we can break this board. Vice City. I used to watch my friend play that a lot, so I do know a lot about Vice City and San Andreas. I was uh, the person watching him play it while he looked at the guide. Well, I looked at the guide while he played it. Like, uh, you can't tell. Good sir, but I do. I also play RuneScape still right now. <laughs> I am that much of a filthy scrub. No, no, it is still a good game. I play Classic more than the uh, newest one right now. Because I've tried logging into my character on, on the uh, newest one. But I was so lost. Because, you know, I didn't know what was happening. Because of all the changes, I haven't started with the changes, so they're a bit confusing. So what does he do? Nope. RuneScape Classic is still open. That's usually what I play on. It's, a bit, it's decent. It's nice to just chill with. I don't play it as much when I'm editing videos anymore because I need to pay attention to like the woodcutting and stuff. The X laws were the coolest part of Charming King. I mean, I have it now. It's going to be a nice, good, uh, good card to play. A uh, good game to play. I am sick of fighting Tia, though. Yeah, Guild Wars was a lot of people's starting game, but WoW is more preferred to Guild Wars. Am I into anime games? Yes, I am, good sir. I play lots of those. I'm a massive anime fan too. We've passed our anime chat today, but we did have like an hour of random anime chat. And the angels are basically just cars. It's not that hard to animate them. If they can animate a Duel Masters game, which the entire Light Clan is basically the X-Laws, they should be able to play it. 
Yeah, I should be able to model them. Persona is an awesome game. I have uh, Persona 4 Golden that I'm going to play on the channel eventually. Of course, Konami did it. Who did the Duel Masters game? I don't know. Atari. By the looks of it. Yeah, Atari made this game. I've just got the uh the game the game case on my desk. Oh, this guy's still going. It's a 15k damage, just hurry up. I have things to do. Yeah, it's probably been a budget reasons, or uh, because they're called angels, and back then they didn't animate a lot of things to do with religion. Konami don't do that. It's why they changed all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, Shaman King was a good anime. That's why I've got uh, the game to play. Which is here. Shaman King, Power of the Spirit. I'll be playing that soon. I think I've got... Uh, the next one I was told to play was... Uh, Duelist of the Roses. And then I'll get to playing um, Shaman King. God, he's still going. I'm trying to remember, did they? I think they did call them angels, but I think they censored a lot of their outfits. You know, because they don't have, like, crucifixes on. And I think they changed Faust's stuff as well. To tone down his necromancy level. If I remember correctly. Which I may not do. It's been ages since I've watched the original. Because they, they censored, like, um, Lyserg Spirit's name as well. I mean, they did have to back then, I suppose. But they changed it back to its original and the newest one. Yeah, it was Bone Sorcerer. Yeah, they changed um, Lyserg Spirit's uh, name from, I think it was Morphine. Was her original name. And they changed that. So they did do a lot of changes, which is why I did appreciate the newest season. Yeah, Morphe, Morphea to Chloe, yeah. I mean, it was the weirdest dub. Like, the Chinese-British guy, the American... No, the American-Japanese guy. And I think, what was it, the Canadian-British guy? Yeah, she she kind of does look like a Chloe. Yeah. She was one of my favorite spirits, though. Especially towards the end when she gets her full spirit for, uh, angel form. I did appreciate that. It was cool. The ending of the anime was original anime was garbage, though. They could have made that better. Which is a shame. Does it ever state what her form is? Shaman King Morphia. Morphine. There she is. Ah. Is everyone else looking at what I'm looking at right now? Because this is jank that should not be feasible. Dual avatar. Why? I mean, it is a fusion deck. Why, though?
Yeah. Because she becomes a uh, uh, angel advent morphine in the anime only. She doesn't have that in the original. It's a shame. It was cool. Uh, yes, Antonio, I do. I am of the age of Beast Wars and Monster Rancher. Yes. Monster Rancher is second on my list of old jank to watch. I'm currently halfway through Flint the Time Detective, which is arguably significantly worse. Monster Ranger is basically Pokemon, but they, they, they when they defeat them, they turn into discs, and they can revive them from discs. I love myself some old TV shows. Like, I've got an entire list of old shows I need to watch. I've got uh, Jackie Chan Adventures, Voltron Force, uh, I need to start watching Ben 10. Um, I've got Galactic Football to watch as well. I've got some real nice jank. Oh yeah, it's perfectly fine for for them to adapt things to English audiences. As long as they don't do what the four kids One Piece dub did and just ruin the entire show. Yeah, I don't know why they changed Howe's name. I think they were trying to get away from um, the Aboriginal theme. Which is kind of odd considering all the judges uh, of, the, of the Aboriginal um, persuasion. I don't know why they called him Zeke. It was really odd. Like, Yo had his original name. Oh, Big O. I was a Ra Zephon fan myself. But Big O is good. Imper. I didn't even activate its effect. Oh yeah, I, I get it. It's like how um, all the Yu-Gi-Oh shows have to censor the cards to not have text. Which is why they all look odd. But the movies of Yu-Gi-Oh have all the text on them because they don't have to censor movies. God, they've they done some really weird stuff in this world, in the uh, dubbing industry. Let's go into... Stealth Kragen. It's odd. I've never actually won wondered why they changed Seek to something else. It's something I never thought about. But it is interesting. I might have to do some uh, research when I get up tomorrow. Well, when I get up later today, before I do some uh, Duel Masters. So I can't really kill that with battle. Um, or can I?
No, let's not mess around with that. Do something annoying? This. Your stream's audio is different than recommended and it won't go away no matter what I do. So annoying. <laughs> Rageki is activated. Okay. I mean, I might as well activate it for free. Bonk. Doesn't the Spirit of Fire have the Kanji of Fire on himself? Or did they take that off him? I could have sworn he did. It's been a while though. I mean, he, original How does go around murdering everyone, which is odd that they would try to censor that in show in the first place if they'd have known. But yeah, I can totally see that them doing it for that reason. Four Kids did do a lot of changing uh, shows like that. I mean, they had to. They really had to change Faust. I think in his first fight, he breaks his leg, and then he just rips his bone out and replaces it in the middle of the battle. I can see why that is not a... Uh, suitable for the children. Yeah. I mean, Four Kids isn't half as bad anymore. The dubbing's changed to an extent now that the norms are different. But it is really odd when you watch older shows. It does have a nice ring to it, it just doesn't suit his uh his uh origin. But it's still good. I give him credit, they could have changed it to something a lot worse. Yeah, that final episode is absolutely horrible. I wouldn't want to watch it with that kind of garbage either. Stealth Kragen. The bestest of boys. Monster Reborn. Stealth Kragen. God, if you've got an interaction, just play the damn interaction, please. Yeah, the, the... I do like the original, but the remake they did is I really enjoyed too. It's more anime to me. You know, because they keep... They shout out secret techniques. And all that stuff. It's, it's real nice. It's a good watch.
That's enough for game. Yes. They cancelled a lot of shows back then that I really enjoyed. Really depresses me that they can do stuff like this. I mean, that was the only way they could defeat Zeke in the 2021 one, because he was way too powerful, but in the original in the original one, right? He gets to the final fight. Amida Maru absorbs the spirits of everyone else, turns gold, and one hits the spirit of fire. And then it ends on... You know that tournament that's only every uh, several hundred years? Yeah, we're going to rerun the tournament again now Zeke's dead. So you've got a chance of becoming the Shaman King again. It was such a cop-out. I was not a fan. I do need to um, read the actual series as well, just for the context of them just telling him to chill. <laughs> I am not calling him... I'm going to refer to Ice Boy as Horu Horu. I am not calling him what they called him. I will not even dignify that be to be a name. <laughs> we are not calling him Ray Tracer. We are not doing it. Or Tra- whatever he was called. Tracer or whatever- what was it? Tray, wasn't it? Oh, horrible. Yeah, Trey Racer was so dumb. <laughs> it's almost as, vil as stupid as the villain of Guilty Gear. Really? The last game? Is Dark Magician. I almost went an entire day without fighting this garbage. <laughs> uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know your wins. It ends when he is walking towards starting the tournament again. He sees the uh, shooting star. He's like, oh, the tournament's back on, and then it ends. Like, I am literally going to lose. I do not have a, a level 4 hand. This does not make a rank 4. Yes. He was so weak, despite being hundreds of, no, even millions of Furyuko levels stronger than Yo, and Amida Mara one hits him with the power of friendship. Like, that's probably on YouTube somewhere if you wanted to if you wanted to watch it. It was horrible. Yeah, it was basically Heart of the Cards. I'll even check it right now. Yep, it is on it is on uh, on YouTube. Yep, Golden Ridomaru beats him immediately. It ends. So stupid. And thank you, sir. New new sub. Right. So he he has a dark magician.
So he can summon a Dark Magician from the graveyard and banish one of my cards. Which is inconvenient. What does it banish? One card specifically. Ideally, I'd want a spell and trap card destruction. But the second I summon this, it's going to destroy it with, and banish it. Ah, we'll have to play. We have to play, don't we? Two and a half brain cells. That's more than me. I haven't slept yet. There it is. Yeah, I was trying to get his summon out of the way first so he didn't pop it and banish it with Dark Magic Circle. How did I not draw a single extender? You have to be way more specific than new fusion monster, good sir. Oh, um... Branded Alba... Alba loss thing. You know, the, the fusion of all Alba stuff. Yeah, it's really stupid. Yes, I know my last stream my last thing today is gonna to be losing to Dark Magician. Well done me. That's God intended. How dare you. Yes, Rex Term is such a good boy. If it wasn't uh, going to cost me hundreds of pounds of getting URs, I would be, I would be playing uh, Dynamo here right now. What's this summoning him? I need one extender. That's all I need. One extender. This isn't going to happen because it's going to attack me with that. Excuse me. Yeah, I do prefer the art style of the original, but I prefer the story of the remake, if that makes sense.
So was that deck classed as fusion then? I have to say, that is the shittest Dark Magician list I've ever seen. Mind my language. That is... That's certainly a list. Okay. Yeah, you could have done. You could have rewritten Shaman King so Zeke didn't. Because, <laughs> like, uh, it turns. Well, the ending is basically he didn't want to be the Shaman King in the first place. He just wanted to bring his mother back, and that was like his main thing. Because human, you uh, humans betrayed him. Yo could have just said, "It's fine. I can solve your problems if you let me be sh come Shaman King." But then it's like, if it, since it's a shonen, he would have had to do it and he'd have to win because he's a shonen protagonist. Uh, without plot convenience, I don't think Yo could become more powerful than Zeke now. I'll have you know that Shaman King sequel is on Netflix next week and it has Chuck it has everyone as an adult and Choco's in jail for murder. Because reasons. I mean you could put that uh Yo can steal the spirit of fire because they're of the same clan. And then he wouldn't be as powerful because he wouldn't have the spirit of fire anymore. But I don't think he's weak enough that he couldn't just kill them anyway. Yeah, I know, right? It's not even subtle. And he's not the only black character. There is two. There is the one lady who goes around with Zeke who can go into a sheep. That little kid. Solo leveling. Yes. I'm waiting for the uh, sequel of Solo Leveling to come out. Solo Leveling Ragnarok comes out this year at some point. It's going to be good. I've been watching loads of stuff recently, but I've got them two that Firewall's recommended. I've got my games I need to get. Um, Is there anything new that's just come out? Let's have a quick see. Ooh. Green Card Items of Slime Episode 3 is out. I need to watch that. I can't show you the website I'm currently looking at to watch anime on because it is technically illegal. And I'm not allowed to show it. So. How many cases am I going to grab of the next set? Just one. They are £750 a case. Well, 650 If you do certain deals online. But it is a, a set, the next one, that I need lots of stuff from. I'm fine with just getting a case of that. Oh, it's 12. 12 boxes per case. It's like a 50-something pound a box. Better than Pokemon's 120 pound a box. Yeah, so that's what I'll be doing on Friday when the stream starts. Anyone's free to join me for that if they like. Me watch, opening the next set. Uh, what have I got on my list? Where's my list? I read out a list and I can't even find it. Oh yeah, that's why. I put it on notes, didn't I? Yep. 
Yeah. I've got some bits I definitely need to get. Uh, Fishbog Harpooner for Goaty. Nightmare Apprentice because I want to play Illusion. Kind of want to try um, Gold. I'll, I'll get my Gold Pride, some Centurion. Riker if I can get them. And all my Melodious bits are common and super rare. And same with Ancient Gear. There's nothing big. And yes, back when dubs had English voice acting for intros. Yes. But we can't be bringing that up or I'll start humming the witch theme to myself again. I had an entire week of that. I can't be doing that anymore. There you go. 1940 points. I passed. Oh, stop it. So today I lost to Dark Magician and didn't get a single Royal Rare. I usually get Streamer Luck and get one, but no. Not today. Oh, we're Bling Bing Bang Born. Yes, that is a good song. I can't remember what else is out this season that I did enjoy the theme for. There were some good ones last season. Let me see. Continue watching. What have I got? Any of these that... One's fine. Uh, the Witch and the Beast theme was fine. Uh, Laid Back Camp was pretty good. Like last season, Apothecary Diaries was mine. Loved that. Yeah, I maxed out my dual pass with one day to go. Which means it'll also be a new dual pass when we uh, start the next stream next week. I think that was pretty good. I did I did okay. 30th of April. Oh, it'll still be on next week if I wanted to add some more to it. That solar leveling thing was beautiful. I am not calling it stream and chill ray tracer. <laughs> oh, it's such out of all the things they could have changed it to, they changed it to that. Oh. So dumb. I, I kind of want to rewatch it, but I also don't because I don't, it annoy me. Because Faust, being my favourite character, never gets good screen time. And it depresses me. Right, so it has almost been six hours. I definitely need to call the stream here for today. But I do stream at this time every single week on Fridays when I can. It won't be every single one, but majority of Fridays. So if anyone wants to join for that, Antonio, good sir, if you wish to join for that one, you can. We'll be on at the same time. It's fine. I usually go to sleep at four anyway, so it's not super out of the way. I might just uh, finish editing a couple of videos. Which, what, what do I have to edit anyway? Let's see. Let's see. Um, I've got 11 episodes of the uh, manga podcast to do. 
That was terrible. Sandland, we reviewed that. We haven't done that yet. And I've got five episodes of Wild Hearts Co-op. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. So, on that note, good sirs, I will see you later. Appreciate you coming to chat. If there's something you want to chat about next week, you bring up some random topics, and I'll see you then.